But yeah, man, uh, Cola, I think a lot of people might be surprised to see him here. He is not in the singles bracket. He's mm -hmm. pulling up just to chill. Mm -hmm. And uh, Joe and I had to pull the, the one time with him. We had to call on our one time to get Cola on the crew battle. He's like, I don't know, man. I've been out the game a little. I don't want to play. I'm like, brother, please. 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 We ain't trying to hear that. Get yeah. up here and press these. But wait, no countdown? We just going to run right up in it? I guess for the first one, you don't need to because the oh, game's got you. you know? Sorry, I, got, I yeah. got a little excited. I got a little excited. Uh, okay. Hey, man, I'm looking forward to the future, too. Next match is going to be crazy. Uh -oh. I think Cola is a good Ooh. pick for first just because Roy's got solid matchups across the board. Mm -hmm. They're... The world is kind of throwing some counter pick factor away with Big D, but maybe they're just hoping whoever they send in first, no way they're prepared. Okay, and I do like that, but at the same turn of breath, too, I can't ignore the fact that Roy is just such combo food, especially for how dangerous mm -hmm. the ice climbers are at these lower percents. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind that they can clean their plate as good as any of the characters in the game, but they put on percent like, I mean, it's the, it's like the craziest thing ever, man. So, they, yeah, see what oh I'm saying right God. here, man? Only 29% Big D right now playing with the spirit of Canada in his soul. What's up? And you know, most of the time that this specific crew battle happens, USA versus the world, it's almost always on American soil. That's right? true. So I think Team US is going to find out the hard way when the crowd's against you, things can definitely shift a little oh, bit. Oh, yes. And this is not unfamiliar terrain right here for Big D. I mean, he found himself on this exact stage last year when he put on a great performance in singles, trying to carry that over here into doubles, or excuse me, not doubles, but the crew battle itself. Okay, another double edge dance. Center stage right there towards the Pokemon. Smart right there to go for the high forwarder, knowing that they would not have enough juice left in the tank to get back to the ledge. Yeah, I was thinking when Nana went out, I was like, oh, Nana's down. That's basically a stock down for Big D. It sure is Woo! not in the hands of this man. He makes Sopo work, but Cola making sure to finish his play as well. Let's see, the percent still definitely favoring Big D. That's right. No Boy. surprise. Oh, that was smart right there. It was already positioned for the up tilt just in case they decide to directly air dodge in. Big D trying to play one step ahead right here in the competition. Trapped in the corner. <laughs> whack a mole. I guess whack a Roy. You are up out of here, player. Yeah, man. When you get grabbed, they, they tried to make the game not let you combo into smash attacks and stuff. Mm -hmm. They did not succeed in that one. No. Proper desync still present in ultimate for sure. You see Big D mop up yet another one. Wow, falling out of the side B. Oh, it's not looking good for Team US. No, it is most certainly not. I like Cola's corner control right here, knowing how to split the ice climbers up, if not on stage, certainly when they're trying to recover. But I hope not a day late and a dollar short. Nice. Gets the standing jab right into the back air. That's that tried and true patented Cola stuff that we have grown to love. Right. Down throw. Ugh. Oh, there. Okay, never mind. I was going to say, saw that opening on Nana. You can take that all the way if you get the right hit. But mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, she's just going to go toward Popo. She is set to DI that way as well. So sometimes the forces that be are just working against you when it comes to separating them and getting that kill. Wow, look at that. Big Ooh. D pairing them right back up with the side oh, B. Oh, my God. What I've grown to love about Big D's play in this set. Whoa! Big read right there, smart right there for Cola to just do counter and plays as opposed to approaching towards center stage. But yeah, I like how he's been kind of catching Cola's jumps. Trying to guess where he's going to be. Whoa, my God, and got right up underneath that platform. He said the only place you're going to be is up in that blast zone. Yeah, I'm guessing where he would be after that roll, too. This guy, Big D, I mean, he's pretty smart, man. He's a pretty, pretty intelligent player. I mean, Cola's very smart, too. Don't want to take nothing away from that vibrant young man, but unfortunately, Roy just did not have what it took. The ice Climbers kind of cooled off Roy's flames there. What's up? Man, and you can't help but think Ooh. on that last stock, we're probably going to see the replay. Cola just freezes up at one point. Mm. Let's shield down after Popo's Blizzard. Nana comes right in with another one, leads into the up tilt up air. That was where the match was decided, I feel like. Yeah. Just that one moment of unawareness, yeah. Yep. Basically Boom. what led into that. I got to give it to both of them. They both played with each other's weaknesses pretty well. You know, usually when you got Roy in a corner, just given like his the sheer nature of his frame dad and just like how quick he is, you wouldn't really think he's in much trouble in the corner. But you know, the ice climbers have that frame for a jab. They can kind of pin you down in that corner, then boom, here comes the blizzard. They have that nair too, which is really good. I mean, you know, you might think your options are good on paper, but the ice climbers are the ultimate matchup check win, especially when it comes to getting out of that corner. That's where they thrive the most, I feel. Yeah, they're just so dangerous because, you know. You get scared of whatever buttons they're putting out. It's a grab into a smash to kill you. Yep. Uh, you got the side B pressure as well. Mm. They can just hover around, move wherever they want, cover your rolls, spot dodges, jumps, whatever. So, yeah, I think Ice Climbers just a matchup check, great corner pressure. Everything you just said, I'm, I'm co-signing that. Yeah, and no doubt about it. And, of course, I don't want to be on the receiving end of a big D butt kicking. But I think the good thing here for Team USA is that he's down to one stock. Now, we've seen Big D make some big plays with only one stock in the past, but of course, with how stacked Team USA is, if I'm a betting man, I'm betting that they're probably going to get Big D up out of here real quick. 
Yeah, I mean, you want to keep the stock count even, but you also don't want to let this guy catch anyone else by surprise. No. Hoping that counter pick advantage really comes into play here. I think, you know, Tweak Sephiroth is a great person to throw in here. But Hard then, to agree. then you get stuck with Sephiroth for the next player. Mm. So, it's, oh, look at this guy. Whoa, look Working at him. Working the crowd a little bit. Basketball player, father, husband extraordinaire, okay? <laughs> this is this is what this is what happens when you go down the right timeline in Smash. You end up like Big D, okay? Yeah, man. This is a full-time job man. That's right. Sponsored man. Best ice climbers in the world. Top 20, 25 in the world, man. Look at this. He's hamming it up. He's a ham. Let's go. The Canadian ham, though. It's different up here. It is, it's bro. The, the Canadian bacon. That's right. Oh, look at that. Yeah, go ahead and put that put that on the back of a quarter or something up here. I don't know who's on the change <laughs> up here. If it even is change in Canada, but take their picture off and put that picture up there, okay? Take the queen off the bill, man. Replace it with Big D. I hey, got big bills, hey, man. That's right. Hey, I'll sign that petition. Where do I sign? Okay. That was a no-brainer right there. But, yes, as another no-brainer is, I'm so happy that you guys are all here tuned in for this crew battle. Again, on my level 2023, it feels so long since we've been back here, but it's only been about a year. But it's a year too long, and I'm happy to be back on Canadian soil doing it the right way with my boy Max. This is a privilege. Hell, yeah, man. One of the best places in the world to take a trip to is Toronto. Yes. If you guys have any doubts, please come to Gommel next year. Check it out for yourselves. <laughs> it's going to be a blast. Yes. This weekend, but also, you know, we got many more to come. Spoilers, you know, we're, we're not shutting down after this year. No, we most certainly are not. Bigger and better, as always. That has always been the motto with my wonderful friends over at EMG. And, of course, this tournament is the proof that you need right here. So, yes, I'm curious to see who this next player is going to be. It looks like, from my point of view, oh, my, oh, my, 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 man. He made it. Anathema, Woo! fresh off of his flight, <laughs> just clearing customs, oh. hopped in that Uber real fast to get here in time. So props to him on that front. I think this is a great call, by the way. Still got the neck pillow on. That's how ready yeah. he is. He said, I ain't, I'm still in sleep mode. <laughs> Pokemon I think, sleep is here. I think, you know, either him or Zamba would have been a great pick here just because Rob is so good at fighting ice climbers. Yes. Even in Brawl, <laughs> when they killed everybody. Yes. Rob, who is a respectable mid-tier, was one of the best picks. And you're being generous, too. Right, yeah, right. You're being very generous. Yeah, you got laser. Um, you know, you got side special as well, too. You know, you can always count that you might hit one of the two. Preferably, of course, Popo, but, you know, Nana has her own thought process at times. And so, um, of course, also, Rob has great boxing tools, too. I mean, what needs to be said, um, you know, about down tilt that we haven't said a million times. And, of course, uh, jab, you know, up tilt as well, too, just in case you get a little jump happy. You know, again, that nair and how safe that backer is. There's going to be a time where the ice climbers are going to leave their feet, try to put on that safe pressure, but not while Uncle Rob's in town. It ain't happening. No, absolutely not. I once he separates them, Rob can go so far off the stage, right? Virtually infinite recovery. Yes. Side B with so many active frames. A oh lot God. of opportunities to catch these guys. So I think the USA chose very smartly here. Let's see how it shakes out in practice, though. I don't know if Anathema and Big D have ever met in a bracket. Oh, that's actually a good question. Hey, numbers monsters out there in the chat. I know you exist. Somebody let us know. Yeah. Okay. Max, tweet at Rod. My phone's about to die. <laughs> yeah, you can tweet at me if you like. <laughs> tweet us both. I'll check it later. There you go. Let's go ahead and lock it in. Fist bumps all across the board. Big D knows what he has to do. He has to jump off twice. Still has a stock, though. If he can put a solid in in Anthema before he exits the stage, if he even does exit, it would be a good shot right there for yeah. Team World. But let's see how it goes. And now you're going to get that 3-2-1 that you wanted. I did. <laughs> I wanted it. All right. Let that invincibility expire. Shoot the laser. Respect from Anathema. We can see this on the production monitor. We're privileged. You guys can't see it. Okay, I didn't. I didn't hear a countdown. Maybe they did it in French, and I just. I just wasn't ready. I don't know. <laughs> He's either French. way. That's the quietest French I've ever heard. I know how young crowds are. Hello. Come on. I've been to a DreamHack Montreal. Don't play with me. All right. Let's go ahead and lock this one in right here. Anathema. Looking pretty good. All they have to do is take one stock, and I'm saying that with relative ease because this is Big D we're talking about right here. But like we said before we jumped into the match, they have the tools and the skills needed to bust these two ice climbers up, separate them, and move on to the next player. Woo! Watch your feet. Not getting anywhere near this robot if he has his way. Anathema mm -hmm. just continuing this wall. Back up, gyro, laser, down tilt they get close and repeat. But, oh, wow, look, that always safe Rob Neutral Air. Always. Nana is keyed in, bro. You got Nana. AI reactions. Yeah, she's locked in right now. Chatbot is present. Wait a minute. Ooh. Okay, watch how you land. Corner control looking good. Whoa, not the tilt in the corner. We got to check the knockback on that move. <laughs> Yo, for real. Ooh, That's like a chic fair in disguise. Oh! oh he knows! Oh my he goodness. knows what you're looking for. 
Oh my god, uh, yeah. Up till up air, right? Yeah, you ready for that? Psych. Up air, so good, man. But that back air, the looming threat of that right there is going to make even some of the strongest players on Team USA crumble. That move, minus three on shield, very, very safe. Not the easiest move in the world for Rob to try to work around, especially being as big as they are, caught in that corner. What's up? Up air, so good. Dude, up, up air, air, so good. Up air. <laughs> So good. Spin to win. He said, look, you can spin. I can spin, too. Oh, oh that's been is. a little better, though. Yes. Turn on the washing machine. Mm -hmm. Clean up that last stock. Oh, I think I got a, something in my shirt. Is that Big D's last stock? That's hit right. It, hit it with the Tide pen. You know what I'm saying? Boom. All right. Well, there we go. One Rob side beat later and one stock later. Mm -hmm. Anathema still on the sticks, of course. But Big D doing exactly his job and that's then right. some, right? The most Four you stocks. could ask is more than three. That's right. Four stocks ain't looking too bad right here. Has sent in the legendary player known as Kameme to do some damage. Now, of course, Kameme plays a multitude of characters. I mean, I think for those of us who have been in the community for a long time, we've grown to love him through their Mega Man gameplay. However, other characters on that utility belt, namely that sword, has been getting down and dirty in a good way here yeah. these last so many months. So curious to see what it's going to be. Yeah, we haven't seen a whole lot of Mega Man, but he does still bust it out when he needs it. Like at Battle of BC, yeah. whipped it out on, uh, I want to say it was Leo. Yes. And he pushed him to game five. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, he beat Leo he in beat Losers. Him. He beat yeah. him. Yeah. And Mega Man made an appearance in that set for sure. So I would still guess, though, he's probably going to go with Sora. I think Rob is straight up mm -hmm. so easy to combo. You have no fast aerial to get yourself out of those nares. Yeah. yeah, you in practice, but that's the sandbag, man. Yeah, it's the one matchup where it matters that Rob is big. Yes. But, of course, Kameme is a madman, and I mean as respectfully as possible. He could have another trick up them, uh, them black long sleeves of his. Yeah, for sure. I mean, no matter who he goes, you can expect him to play them at, like, the highest technical level possible, right? These yeah. guys are, I mean, especially Kameme, out of all the 20 plus players that we have on the stage for you guys tonight, mm -hmm. he is probably the biggest lab rat, I must say. Oh yeah, that utility belt is deep with characters. Yeah. Um, I've seen him in friendlies play all sorts of crazy wonky characters, so, I mean, this could certainly go either way. Anathema, of course, still looking very comfortable, but I don't want him to be too comfortable to his own detriment. Still got the neck pillow on, just pulled up to do the darn thing. Controller locked in. We know what character it's going to be. The problem is, though, you're going up against somebody who is equally as good as you. I'm not going to say one's better than the other, but the character matchup spread is certainly something to maybe wonder about. All right, who is it going to be? It looks like Sora. Okay, everyone's favorite literal Mickey Mouse character. That's but he right. doesn't have Mickey Mouse results anymore, man. I nope. think the, the course of history has been kind to Sora. Mm -hmm. At first, you know, we had that Sora stats account because players would just be busting him out after they're down 0-2. You can name a couple off the bat. That's <laughs> the bus. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. CEO champion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I think once the right players got their hands on this character and really stuck with them, this is the Ooh. kind of shit you see. Yeah, that's right. Kind of just putting them in the, in the rinse cycle right here. Rinse and repeat. Rob, unfortunately enough, not going to be able to jump around and move for free on Sora. But I like that, though. Getting up close and personal. That down to, of course, ultimate temperature checker. Okay, won't be no gyro play in the corner. Not this up here on Sora's behalf has anything to say about it. All right, Anathema trailing by over 100 at this point, though. One good hit from Kameme is going to send him packing. I feel like, oh my god, yeah, it's Sora. What am, I, what am I getting anxious for when I see this man off stage? There are That's no right. consequences. No, absolutely not. It is only Disney magic here. Okay. Trying to find that opening there. There's the backer. Whoa! And sending a Rob to the junkyard to get melted down is Kameme right here. Back here cleaning him up. That DI, of course, under investigation. We'll put that in the interrogation room later. Whoa! Perry City right here. Yeah, some good counterplay there by Anathema. Those are not a true block string. Like, you can let go and parry in the middle of Sora's time. You can also actually punish him after, uh, I think, uh, both hits one and two of Nair and Fair. Could be wrong on that, but either way, there's gaps in the pressure there. Anathema scouting it out. Rewarded with a kill for his trouble. Shrinking that stock deficit to Whoa. only one. Oh, do, hold on. Do, is it even? Do, 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 it, oh, never mind. Oh, sorry. I heard the simple <laughs> clean music start in my head. I heard Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, bro. That's <laughs> Hot dog. <laughs> Devin doing the dance That's backstage right. with us. Yo, shout out to House of 3000, man. I'm sure it's been said on this stream before today, but you know, we got to show respect to some of the goats that aren't on the stage right now. Hey, I know that's right, right here. Putting on a oh. great show right here, making Max and I's job very, very easy. But the recovery Ooh. job ain't easy for Kamehameha, though. Good Lord, can't quite get back to the les, despite how gifted Sora is off stage. Ananthema said, nah, -uh, we even enough these stocks. Real quick, my friend, there's the Nair. Doesn't get anything off of it. First swing on the Nair. 
Well, Can't first edge guard on Sora. I know, right? Put it in the history books. Up tilt, what's up? Okay, I'm liking that back air in the corner. Relatively slow move, but minus six, so we'll take it. Safe-ish. Yeah, really hard to punish, especially with the Ow. range. Oh! Ah! He said, I know where you're going. That's Big D mm. and Kamehameha blowing Anathema up for two separate air dodges. Got to feel bad for the guy, but got to feel good for his opponents, man. Team World turning it up. That's right. Kamehameha said, not while I'm present. Not on my watch. Man. All tapped right. Tapped into that simple and wasn't nothing simple nor clean about any of that. Let's go ahead and look at the replays right here. Nice. Gets Rob off of them wheels. No, great patience, directly air dodged in, key to victory. We unlocking doors, we unlocking ass weapons. Off to the top we go. Bro, cool guys don't look at explosions or their opponents. That back turn was ice cold oh. from Kamehameha. He said, I know exactly what you're mashing. I know exactly where you're mashing to, and I'm going to kill you for it. That's exactly what he did. Mm, it wasn't nothing nice about that, Mr. Kamehameha. You know better than that. <laughs> he said, I didn't fight all the, way, all, the way, all the way over here to be nice, though, so I don't blame him. He is pretty nice, though. That's right. That he boy is nice. nice. He's nice. Chef's kiss right there on Kamehameha's gameplay. But, of course, big shout out to Anthem as well, too. I can't really be biased up here because I got players I love on both teams, okay? So I got to, you know what I'm saying, I got to cheer for both. But great stuff right there to both sides. Anathema, it's Rob, you know what I'm saying? We've seen him certainly dish a butt kicking, but the sheer nature of Rob, you definitely gonna get sent to the scrapyard once or twice in your tournament run. Kamehameha looking as powerful as ever. No Mega Man, we got the sword, we'll take it. Yeah, we can't have the Robot Wars here. You no. know, that might be too much to no. show on stream. No. Might break TOS or something like that. Rise of the Machines, it won't be present here again right, on my level. Right. We're not having it. We're the not Twitch AI it. is not letting the robots take each other out. No. Anyway, let's, let's finish the job on the humans first. But That's right, no Alexa or Siri here, it ain't happening. Yeah, unfortunately, Rob's software may be a little out of date. Chat GPT running circles around him. I would have to say so. Run on that Famicom software. It, it, it ain't looking good. No. It ain't looking good. No. Absolutely not. I mean, you thought the Switch was bad. Like, it was, you know, go ahead and uh, I didn't say that, though. I'm just going to move right along. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so Team USA has to counterpick now, right? So I would have to say so. We're looking at a, a couple different options. Uh, can you pull that roster back up real quick? It's just a lot to remember. Hey, what's that smell? You, you smell that? Oh. What's that? I'm joking. Okay. Am I OD? Oh Am I OD? My God. Am I OD? That's, that's Am why I his name is You are OD. Am I OD? You are OD. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I love, I love Cosmos. Of course, it's all jokes. We know. Oh, my it's God. All, it's all jokes, okay? He Look, heard you. He's like, who, that's who right. said that? That's right. Now, listen. I got up close and personal on Cosmos today. I smell trouble, brother. I felt, <laughs> I felt like... I feel like the internet streets was a little too rough on my boy Cosmos. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> we all get sweaty when we play. Not me. Y'all stay safe. I don't play the game. But for those who play, some people get sweaty. And all I'm saying <laughs> is that this ain't the summer for organic deodorant, okay? There needs to be some antiperspirant, some arm and hammer in there. And Cosmos came correct today, hey, okay? Bro, I know y'all saw my hair on this stream. I'm sweating balls back here. I'm not going to lie. It's not even, the, not even the conditions of the venue. I've just been running all over the damn place mm -hmm. all day. It's tough out here. It's but I got to shout out Fawn. That's one of my goats from back home. Shout out Spawn. Mm -hmm. uh, for having the guts to put a, a very notable person on blast. You know what I'm saying? Someone, yes. someone who's like, uh, you know, big yeah. and out there and stuff. You know, sometimes a call out like that, Listen. people might get a little shy. So They get a little respect, shy. Respect. And I hate that it had to come at the expense of Cosmos, but yeah, there needs to be nice more dude, of that behavior. Hey, look, if you funky... If you phony, yeah. All right, I'm reporting you to the TOs. I'm at that point with. <laughs> well, he's right? snitching now. I'm snitching. I, I'm I was gonna I'm say maybe snitching. tweeting is OD, I'm but telling. I think snitching to the TOs is more I'm OD telling. than tweeting it. I said, look, Joe and Max, there it is, right here. Hey, okay. Uh, yeah. Two Yo. can Sam fall to your nose wherever it goes. I, I will say, you know, just tell them to their face. Yeah. It's it's gonna be an awkward conversation, but you might as well do it. That's right. Hey. From, anyway, from player to player. Anyway. All right. It ain't it ain't player out here. Hey, no, okay. We gotta pull that Old Spice sponsorship <laughs> after that, man. Yo, Old Spice, <laughs> if you watching, hit our line. That's right. We do a bunch of these a year. One eight hundred the boys, and we need you. Let me tell you. That's right. Now, of course, now we need this next match right here. Kamehameha and Cosmos fist bumps all across the board. Now, for those who are just tuning in, Kamehameha down to that final stock. The sword gameplay looking crisp. Okay, but I got to say, Cosmos takes no prisoners. Very curious to see if they're going to have what it takes to try to even this thing. Because I think they're only off by a stock or two. I'm it is Maybe one, just one stock deficit. Okay. Yep. All right, Cosmos, here it goes. Get it. ready. Let's lock it in. All right, the Aegis from Cosmos, the Sora from Kamehameha. My two favorite Fire Emblem characters going at it right now. And I love Fire Emblem, so yes, you know, you that's do. a high compliment. Okay. All right. Here we are. Corner control already. What you doing off stage? Match just started. Oh, get grabbed. We don't. We don't do get up attacks. So you know better than that. 
I will say, Ron, I've got a lot of experience head to head in this matchup I'm as listening. Pyra and Mithra, and I think they win this matchup quite heavily. Okay. But you don't want to be Pyra when you get hit. Yeah, there you go. You yeah. can sneak out of the Sora stuff with Foresight if they're not pixel perfect, mm -hmm. frame perfect. I like the advantage game, too, that Mithra has. I think Sora gets so much off the hit, and sometimes the players mm -hmm. piloting the character might get comfortable with, like, I could just swing willy-nilly because the fear factor. But there's a bit of fear factor on Mithra's behalf, too! Good oh. Lord, but no Mithra needed. It is the Pyra show canceling Kameme up out of this bracket. It is, you guessed it, Cosmos. All right, holding it down. I, again, the best part about crew battles is the creative counter picks that you get to see, right? They had Kameme locked and loaded for Anathema, right? Yes, they did. But I think the response from Team USA was almost just as fast. You know oh. Sora struggles versus Aegis. You got one of the best Aegis players in the whole world on your team. Send them right in. Send them in. Sword on sword, you know what I'm saying? Again, sword players, they sometimes get so comfortable knowing that deep down, I can just swing willy-nilly. Right, and there's nothing wrong with that. Some characters do have that luxury in the game, but there are also characters I can go up against them that makes them think once or twice before swinging. And Mithra's ground game, pretty good. I mean, even down to the frame two jab, I mean, she can really lock sword down in place and make his life living hell. So yeah. great stuff right there on Cosmos' behalf. Yeah, I mean, Mithra pretty much outswings the whole cast, but That's facts. Sora... What he has in range, he slightly lacks in frame data, right? Sure, it's sure. still some fast ground normals, don't get me wrong. Right. But against Mithra, you're going to get smothered. Mm -hmm. Sometimes she falls out of the combos. you got to be so airtight. And also, as Sora, when you get popped up, you're just cooked. Like you're that slow-ass double jump, that floaty fall speed. Mithra has a field day with characters like that, and mm -hmm. you can see why. Even when they're wielding mm -hmm. a giant Keyblade, right, it's not so hard for her to keep pushing that advantage. So I'm curious now who you send in against a character like this. Yeah. You know, they don't really have bad matchups on paper. No, they do not. No, they don't. It's very strange that like all the Final Fantasy characters are kind of designed the same with their aerials. It's like big, slow, chunky aerials, but super safe on shield. You know, Cloud's kind of the same ingredients as well. Yep. Sephiroth, sort of, kind of too, but really more so Cloud and, and Sora. But yeah, who do you really send in on on Mithra, especially Mithra being piloted by Cosmos? Um, yeah. You know, I mean, of course, he is a very seasoned vet. You know, has this isn't his first rodeo and in a crew no. battle, really any format of Smash, let alone a crew battle. He knows how to preserve his stocks. And again, another aspect to a crew battle that I think people sometimes forget about is that you can be in versus one player and be the aggressor, the one to kind of get in and clean up the stocks. But depending on the matchup, you might be sent in as the tank as well. Remember, you and I, we did a collegiate crew battle, and we got to see that firsthand a couple years ago, the importance of knowing your role in a crew battle. So... I'm curious to see what Cosmos is going to bring to the table here. Right, yeah, I feel like, you know, this is the third player that the U.S. has sent out. Mm -hmm. World is about to send out their third player. So we're still kind of using, I think, the characters that have very well-rounded matchups across Absolutely. the board, right? Toward the middle, that's where you get the grimy counter picks. Facts. And I guess we already saw that with Big D and mm -hmm. Anathema, actually, you know, picking Rob into Ice Climber, such a good answer, and then picking Sora into Aegis. So maybe we're already at that phase. Maybe, maybe you know, maybe I'm behind the times. These top yeah. players, they're, they're a lot smarter than me, which is why they're playing. Yeah, I mean, you never know. I mean, it's, a, it's the never-ending game of chess, especially when you put some of the most brilliant minds together versus each other. You're going to see the chess game back and forth. Hey, yep. they picked this player. That player is still left. Let's send you in. Let's hope you get some stocks on the board. If not, let's tank. But oh. uh, is that who I think it is? It sure is, brother. Ouch from British Columbia stepping British. up to the sticks. British Columbia. Columbia. <laughs> uh, not even a Tuesday, and this man is still out here doing his thing. That's I was right. just talking about how Aegis might not really have bad matchups on paper. I think there is especially one really notable exception, which is Wolf. Ouch. Near miss on that win against MK Leo at Battle of DC. I know. Like, one of the most heartbreaking set drops I've ever seen. He was, he was cooking, and then just that pirate there, up smash, right? So as long as he's able to... Take these stocks from Cosmos without such unfortunate things happening to him. I think it's a great answer. You know what I really love most about all the Wolves? Like, uh, they all pile the character to top player efficiency, but I think what separates out from some of the other ones, and I'm not saying in terms of who's better or who's worse, but one thing that I really love about his gameplay is his, his utilization of up tilt, which you can only really use if you're patient. He'll do this thing where he'll get you in a corner and wait for you to air dodge and just almost like Apollo Kage and Snake. Turn around, boom, up tilt. Or knowing that you're going to land right in front of them, panic, spot dodge, boom, up tilt every time. To have the presence of mind like that to be synced up with, like, your young man reactionary time, that yeah. right there is the mark of a true competitor. Him and Jackal piling these characters to top player efficiency. Want to see more outs this weekend. Hey, man, Jackal unfortunately couldn't make it. He was actually slotted to be on the U.S. crew. So, Damn. you know, I was talking about Leffen dropping on the, the melee side. We had Jackal and Shuton both not able to make it last Aww. minute. Super unfortunate. Would have loved to have their presence in this crew battle. But 
Uh, you know what, man? Even without them, I think that kind of makes it a fair fight to lose both of those players. Right? Yeah, it makes it fair. Makes it fair. But hey, you know what? Outs, of course, not a substitute by any stretch of imagination. Mm -mm. Certainly a top of billing, top of the heap if I've ever seen it. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Both sides, three stocks. We're going to go ahead and let the announcer count down for us. And it looks like it is Outs drawing blood first. Immediately knowing Cosmos is going to try to leave their feet and throw out some of those safe aerials, but not if this forwarder on Wolf's behalf has anything to say about it. Oh, man, I'm loving the play from Cosmos so far. Just barely off on some of these moves from Ouch, right? That, that neutral there, he was pixels away from getting hit. Able to turn things into his favor. Keep pushing that advantage. Stay excellent, Barry. Wow, the, hey, Shuton isn't here, and we're still seeing that down tilt to turn around neutral B. That's right. You know where Cosmos learned that, man. That's right. No days off. Oh, I see you coming, okay? What's going on? I can see the future. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and take the trades at this percent right here. Smart on out to try to land with the Nair. Very safe option on shield. Minus four, minus five, depending on how you hit it. But unfortunately, doesn't seem to matter when you're on the receiving end of coming back on stage. So great stuff here from Cosmos as we kick off this match. Come here. Come here. Oh, wow. And again, these near misses from Ouch costing him so much. Cosmos still with this stock lead to work with. Let's see. Can he start racking up this damage? You got to get that extra credit. That's Mithra's specialty. Combos at low percent. We see him continuing. Yeah. And again, oh, the width God. punishes by micrometers. Micrometers. I'm talking pixels off. I guess in this case, pixels on. But wait a minute. Ouch said, I'm on, bro. You can't turn me off. Love that down smash right there out of shield. Knowing that not everything is safe on Mithra. It might feel like it, but I got some tools as well. Okay, oh. nice dash attack right to the forward. And I Ooh. love the patience. Was just getting ready to highlight Cosmos' patience, but Alch is just looking as good as ever, waiting for them to swing first and then dictating where they're going to be when they land. Ooh. You can see, wow, Force, I always feel like somebody's, somebody's watching, watching me. Uh, and I got no privacy. <laughs> oh, oh, whoa. whoa. And one, of, one, of, one of the rare features Michael Jackson ever did. He didn't do a lot of features. Whoa, my oh, goodness. Oh, my God. This looks like the Cosmos show featuring Ouch, mm -hmm. featuring Sandbag from the Super Smash Brothers series. That's right. Who put him in the game as a playable character? Don't give the devs any ideas. Okay, nice. A lot of Nair being tossed up right here. It's a sword, if you will, but very safe. Nice. Using it to cross up as well. Now, has a little bit of corner control. And yeah, I, I can just do this, okay? Me, me and Ike, okay, we, we, we run from the same hood. We can just do up being a corner. You got to respect it, all right? You know better. What's up? Oh, Boom. and again, those back airs in the up B at Mithra's optimal combo ender. It actually, I think, does more damage than the neutral B, or it's like, a, it's very close. But does either way. Really? Oh, my. See, this is what I was talking about. This is what you think is safe to roll out of harm's way. He knows how to kick on the aggression, then turn it off and let you make the mistake. But make no mistake right here. Ouch. Not looking so hot right here. Looks like it's wolf hunting season. It sure does, and this was Team World's counter pick, by the way. Mm -hmm. So to see this backfire on them, and Cosmos still potentially hanging on with two stocks after Ouch goes in, it's not a good look. No, it is most certainly Miracle, America. baby. Miracle. Who said that? <laughs> what? What? Ma me? Isn't Max Ketchum Canadian? Ma right. Hey, I'm <laughs> a Canadian too. Poutine and healthcare. Don't play with me. Sign me up. Okay. Whoa. whoa, whoa. Ouch might need to tap into some of his Canadian healthcare here in a second. Cosmos ain't Cosmos ain't looking nothing nice right now. Hey man, we know what we're fighting for, bro. <laughs> Gotta pay them medical bills one way or the other. <laughs> there it is. Okay, They'll get, come for you eventually. That's right. Get the stretchers. Okay. Sword and left my hand. That's okay. I can still move around a little bit. Mithra back on solid ground. We're seeing a lot of tilts come out. There's the down throw. Boom. Dash Ooh. attack. Up tilt. I love it. Ooh. Frame seven. What's Hold up? Hold up. Ouch bringing the pain. Love her. About to send Cosmos to the hospital in an Uber. That's the right. American way. The American way. <laughs> he said, hey, you rise outside. Nice. Neutral special <laughs> to stop the momentum. No hey, way! Look at this. What the hell? Oh, dude. I thought the gun laws were strict around here. Turns out Ouch had other plans. Pulled out the blicky. Pulled out that thing. Mm -hmm. You know he stays with it. That was a taser. Canadian cop got a taser <laughs> out there. That's all that sure, was. Sure, that's a blaster. You that's know, right. it's not a gun. That's right. Thank you, Nintendo. That's right. <laughs> he said, we're not going to go where Nintendo don't. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at these replays right here. There's the forward throw right into the F tilt. Clean stuff. I talked about it once. I'll say it again. Ouch in the corner is nothing to play with. Double neutral special to kill the momentum. And, of course, you ain't coming back to that stage. A day late in the dollars. That, that looked like Buzz Lightyear in Toy Story 1. You, you can't fly. You can't <laughs> fly. You're just a toy. It's falling it's with falling. style. With style. All right. Well, oh. Cosmos falling with style right out of the crew battle right here. But he did his job. He, he took did. three. That's right. You know, pushed out to the limit, but he just fell apart at the end of the day. You know, Closmos not in the building, but that's fine. Again, did his job. Performed up to par. 
You can't be too upset about that. No, you most certainly cannot. And of course, you put a solid dent into the strong player that we call Ouch up there. Took some stocks. Of course, they got one left. A little curious he was going to come in next. That's all I'm saying. Okay, because Ouch is one of those players in my in my book. When I see them in bracket, I don't care what they're seated. That's a top eight player. Hell, that's a top four player in my personal opinion. So we've this seen player, it before. You got to proceed with caution. Okay, if you're Team USA. Yeah, and again, Wolf, another very uh, well-rounded character in terms yeah. of his head-to-head -head mm -hmm. matchups, right? Oh, yeah. yeah Counterpicking this guy in a way that's going to completely dismantle him, it's pretty tough. Yeah. I'd say maybe, like, you know, Joker is yes. a good answer. Yes, yes, yes. Right, but yeah, MK Leo's on the World Crew, baby, so mm. I don't think there's a character like that in supply on the, the U.S. team. But that said, I think a lot of these players, you know, they have experience against each other in bracket or yes. at least in certain matchups. Somebody who I know is really good against Wolf is Tweak. All yes. that jackal practice, yes, yes, right? yes. So uh, maybe that's going to be the pick. But I don't want to speculate too much. I think we'll let these players speak for themselves. That's right. Team USA, of course, taking their sweet time because they know how important this is. Team of World, okay, they came to play today. Ouch right now looking pretty comfortable and poised on stage. If I know Ouch as well as I think I do, they might take another stock, maybe two, depending on who they send in. Again, Ouch can really kick up the Jets at a moment's notice. So curious to see if that's going to go down here. Yeah, Ouch is a legend, man. I think this guy, you know, the unsung hero of Canada sometimes. Riddles, he's got a, he's an older kid, right? He's still a kid, but he's he's able to go out and do his own thing. He's like 20 years old or something now, right? Oh, is Ouch that Tilde? Is, oh, oh, it sure is. We got some spacies in the building. It's gonna be Falco versus Wolf. Star Fox, who? All right, the bird is the word up here. The bird is the word indeed. Go birds. Go birds. But let's see how this one goes. I mean, um, again, you know, I, I think, you know, Riddles, or excuse me, not Riddles, uh, Tilde, Looking really strong right now. Uh, you know, the Falco, of course, we have seen it time and time again. That character, man, I mean, you are just caught in the cutscene. And it ain't a short cutscene. It's like a poking tournament cutscene. It's like a cutscene that goes like 30 seconds. Yeah. Especially if you don't know how to DI in or out of some of these combos, you're going to be into a world of hurt. But out, of course, being the strong and knowledgeable player that they are, should know how to get out of some of these Falco streams. Yeah, for sure. Otherwise, we'll just see this devolve into a Marvel vs. Capcom 3 match. Yo, shout out to the GOAT game ever, by the way. Yes. Shout out to Tong. Tong. Keeping that game alive, man. Mm -hmm. that, that's a piece of my childhood right there. That's right. A lot of you guys might not know, but, uh, you know, during, like, the middle of Brawl when I was dying down, I went full Marvel for a couple years. That's right. Got a lot of love in my heart for that game. So I'm a big fan of Falco and Ultimate big as fan. a result. Big fan. Big fan of Falco. Big fan of Tampa Never Sleeps as well, too. Shout out to oh, my God. people down there in the South doing the damn thing putting the community on and bringing games back. I mean, Marvel never left. They just put it on a bigger stage. Didn't think it could do that. But hey, who knew the FGC could get together and really lean into the C part of the FGC and bring us something good, man. Is that Mana sure. RD back there in the background? I think that's Mana right there in the out screen. Yeah, that Whoa. is Mana. Yeah, and guess what? He's not just here for Street Fighter Six. He's also here for Ultimate. The Bowser Mac is back? Yes, sir. The return of the Mac and the Bowser. Okay. Well, let's see how it all unfolds right here. We are locked in fist bumps. Come on, players. Y'all taking too dang long. I'm getting I'm getting antsy up here. Yeah, I'm an old real. man. All right? My heart can't handle this anticipation. I just turned 30. Come on. Bro, same. You're right. not supposed to tell them, though. Hey, as long as we don't look 30, <laughs> that's all that matters, okay? Sometimes, man, the, the bags under my eyes, I'd be looking 40. Hey. That's what happens when you're a TL. Those are luxury bags, You age though, okay? twice as fast. You're like a clone in Metal Gear Solid, you know? <laughs> That's right. That's why Snake, over the course of four games, aged 40 years. Hey, Liquid Max coming soon, right? <laughs> Aerokoi Pliskin. Let's go ahead and Plus get go. it. Okay, dash attack. Nuh -uh. Okay, air dodging out of the F-Tilt. That's how Wolf puts on a lot of, you know, early percent. We see that dash attack into the F-Tilt, forward throw F-Tilt. Some of that really early stuff, especially on characters like Falco, who are really easy to smack around. Okay. Uh-oh. Hey, yeah, nah, you ain't getting nothing off that nair. That nair's your bread and butter. Same with that up tilt. I ain't having it. Oh! I said I ain't having it. Ouch looking to kill him right there, but Tilde. Beautiful angle from underneath the stage. Coming right back. We're going to see the drag down. No. Ouch. Being a fast faller. Actually sinking below the platform there. That kept oh. him alive. And there's oh. another oh. stock. Oh. Team oh. World setting the pace. Okay, and then try to take a page out of his book. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let you roll. Make the mistake for me. Then I'll catch you with my up tilt. Now, of course, Falco's up tilt. You know, a bit faster, but not quite as safe. Doesn't seem to matter. Back here coming through. Uh-uh. Whoa! Hold on. Some close calls at the ledge here, but ouch. Clinging to life. Looking to somehow maybe even take another stock off of Tilde. Right. I don't know if it's going to happen. I don't think it, I mean, I ain't trying to call it too early, but it ain't looking good right now. Okay, a lot of, lot of fall away there. Some of these safer options. Again, that move pretty darn safe on shield. Even a character as quick as Falcon might struggle dealing with uh, Wolf Nair. Back throw? Yeah, you oh, already know. Hold up. 
any hits, a good hit for Ouch. Keeping this jungle going, but Tilde is gonna swing on the way down. I think one thing, though, that can work in Ouch's favor is that Wolf is out of those percents where Up Tilt's gonna combo into a kill move for free. That's very true. That's very true. Hopefully they take this advantage they can maybe try to run with it. Nothing off the Nair, probably knowing or anticipating that Ouch might try to jump out of the corner with Nair again, but not at this percent. I'm looking for safe options out the corner. I can't afford to trade at all anymore. It ain't about the sh oh, ah! oh! So close! Looking for the up smash as well. Ouch, though, just on a war path right now. Oh. And there it is! Another up tilt! Damn! That up tilt so good. I'm telling you, man. Ouch is up the so up good. tilt king. It's so good. He's the up tilt king. Grab, grab. Right. <laughs> <laughs> grab. Up tilt so good. Up tilt so good. Grab. Uh, GG's. GG's. <laughs> gang, gang. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Okay. There's I'm just saying, if you're into that, you're sick. That's right. And so is Tilde. So is Ouch, man. That's who I really got to give it up to after that. I mean, what a statement from this guy. I would say just perpetually one of the most underrated players in the world. You know, he comes from a scene that's a little bit quiet, but they've been getting some real love lately. Vancouver, British Columbia, uh -huh. looking great with Big D, with Ouch showing up to more stuff. You know, Big D being sponsored also, that means we're going to see him more. That could have been it. He that had to do it the hard way. That could have. Oh, that should have been it. Look at that. I'm talking frames off. The hair's on his chinny chin chin right oh, there, bro. Man, look at the roll. I mean, Falco said, woo, I live to fight another day. Trying to huff and puff and blow that house down right now. Mm. But ouch. Has to make his exit eventually, right? That's right. Tilde closing it out. That forward air, I believe, was the killing blow on his last stock. Great performance. And now Tilde stripped down to just one singular stock. One, what are you going to do with that? I don't even know. I may, Maybe Nair more. I was surprised we didn't see more Nair. I mean, he did it a couple times in the corner, probably anticipating, okay, I'm probably going to go for a Nair or forward air out of shield. This is Wolf we're talking about. Yep, yep. I can at least elect to go for a trade. And that first hit being like frame two or three on there, you're looking pretty darn good. But fact remains the same right here. Tilde was the one that was able to close it out. And as scary as Wolf is in the corner, as scary as Fox is, to the untrained player being caught in the corner versus Falco, you in some trouble, bro. Oh, definitely. You in some big trouble. I mean, I feel like every good character in this game, like they really add on the uh, that oppression right? mm -hmm. in the corner, dude. It's so hard to get out sometimes. You got limited options, right? You limited. got roll, jump, dash attack, yep, you know? Yep, yep, yep. Something creative, maybe. Yeah. Yep. I mean, the world is really, you know what I'm saying, your uh, your own sketchbook. You can kind of do whatever you want sometimes with the character it feels, but the fact remains the same. Tilde, of course, like you mentioned before previously, down to their final stock. But, of course, we've seen Tilde in spots like this before. Just not really from the perspective of a crew battle. But, again, given the stock count and given who you're going up against, the narrative behind your gameplay changes ever so slightly. But this young man right here is a player who is constantly writing and rewriting his own narrative to something bigger and better every time. It is Canada's very own. Toronto's very own. Riddles, bro. Damn. Man, he writing riddles, too. That's right. He Keeping said, you guessing at all times. Man, so, I am scared of this. I, I like this pick from the world. I mean, uh, the fighting game characters have always been quite good against Spaceys just because they're fastballers. They die easily yeah. on hit, right? But Falco has a combo game that can, dare I say, rival Kazuya's or No, Terry's. say it. Say it, bro. Say it with your yeah. chest. I, I will say uh, maybe not rival Kazuya's. But outclass Terry's and come somewhat close to Kazuya's. So, sure. Especially with the physics of those characters, right? There's some big boys. Yes, right. They're kind of fast fallers in their own right. Mm -hmm. High weight, big bodies. Mm -hmm. It can be pretty rough for them when they get hit. Even Ryu and Ken, too. I mean, with the multi-hit attacks, focus attack be kind of kind of becomes a thing of the past. Right. I mean, you know, you really have to watch how you FADC around because Falco has, you know, Nair, has Forrader, has a lot of, mo even up smash, hell. You yep. know what you're saying? You ain't going to be able to focus attack through everything. So, of course, I'd imagine Riddle's very on the up and up about that. We're going to see some combination of Kazuya or Terry. It's just a matter of, you know, how he's feeling today. Yeah, the only focus we're seeing from Riddles is on the game, on right? On the game, The baby. days of his can have long passed. But, you know, he did sneak in a, te a tweak win at Let's Make Big Moves 2020. That he did. With that can. Put some respect on that. Put oh, some respect. Hold up. It's uh, about to be Terry, actually. Scary Terry, Alex? <laughs> you can run, but you can't hide. That's right. <laughs> I'm on the way, my boy. Okay. Looks like the stocks are gone. We're going to get a countdown. Uh, I, mean, yep. I, I just feel like the crowd don't know how to count. We got to get the crowd hooked on phonics soon. Yeah, they, man, they I thought American public education was bad. Yeah, it's, it ain't sounding good up here. Okay. Oh, no. Well, here the, we go. Okay, this is what you were talking about before. The yep. cutscenes are... Ooh, ah! Another one. Okay, up till... Whoa, my goodness. Bring okay. out the whole ocean. Uh-uh, no, uh Ain't going to be none of power, nothing going on. Get out of here. Man, I was saying, what is Tilde about to do with this one stock? Turns out it might be a whole lot. That's right. Especially if he keeps up this kind of pace. 
just has to find that final blow, though. That's what's going to be so hard. Okay, respecting the crack shoot, blocking, not dashing at it as well. It's another yes. huge point of counterplay. Dude, to that I'm move. just so happy that he just kept up close and personal and kept applying pressure. The minute you reset that neutral on Terry, you're going to be in some trouble because you're not going to be able to break away and go for like fall away aerials for free anymore because he can go for trade options. You're not going to be able to laser. He can crack shoot through that. I'm glad he stayed up close and personal. That's the double edged sword of playing against Terry. Nice. Gets the down special. Ha! <laughs> I love this guy. Ah! Oh my god! Tilde not stopping. You wanted to count this man out just because Ouch was doing the dash on him? Absolutely not. Wait a minute. Wait now, wait a damn minute. Tilde, you need to calm down. You wildin' in VIP right now. Uh, okay. okay, okay. Oh, oh, hold up. He's I'm still here. He said I walk around the metal detectors. That's right. Oh, oh my goodness. Gets the some of the later frames right there on there. Looking good right now. Dancing around the frame data. The options that Riddles is bringing to the table. I want to see more down tilt come out, man. Super safe option. Relatively quick, too. No way he three stocks, right? No, no way. No way. I mean, oh, but... He, oh, hold on. Could be a chance. Oh Drag down. Oh, couldn't get to the platform. Dude, this is so scary I'm right scared. now. I'm scared. He's going for more up tilts up close, too. That first hit... Pretty quick. That second swing, not quite as fast. You got to make sure that first one connects. Go meter locked in. Oh. Terry with the age old question pretty soon. Are you okay? Oh, that's yours, bro. Hot potato. Okay, Tilde using a lot of full hop just to get around Buster Wolf. Wow. Gets the whip, but no punish. But this time he's going to do it. Tilde, three stocks riddles to put USA in the lead for the first time. Okay, better late than never. Never late is also better, though. Tilde looking pretty powerful. One stock only needed here. The Falco, the bird. Damn it, it's the word. Let's go ahead and look at these replays, man. Courtesy of Coffee Crisp right here. Man, these are some crisp replays, that's for sure. Free. Okay, yeah, there's that back here. Gets the first one onto the magnifying glass. You go. Got him up out of here. Another forward air, of course, catching some of these high recoveries back in. A crack shoot is such a safe option. But you get the rinse and repeat. Another near out of shield. That first hit on there, frame three. So Terry going to struggle. Directional air dodge in. You know it. You done. Man, this was such a well-played game by Tilde. Virtually a perfect mm -hmm. stock for the first one. Second one, you know, they had a little, <laughs> little scuffle going. Yep, yep, yep. But still firmly in Tilde's favor. And then, even at the end, even after Riddles got a chance to really get in the match, build up that percent, he was just unable to find the killing blow. You saw it right there. Riddles laughing it off, saying, man, I should have gone Kazuya. Yeah, I should have went. I should have went Mr. Mishima. You know, maybe you just needed a little time, you know what I'm saying, to, to get warmed up. That's kind of the issue you have it with the crew battle. You know, you might have it in your head up until a certain point, I'm going to come in and tank. But, you know, when you're down or when the stocks are relatively even, we might need you to come in and be the aggressor. Yeah. So you got to switch mindsets just like that. I mean, that's the beautiful thing about this age-old format and bracket. So great stuff right there to Tilde, of course. Riddles, you know, came up a little short right there. But, uh, of course, that's what, you know, the normal format of bracket is. I'm curious to see what they're going to do tomorrow in singles. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think both of these guys are going to go on yeah. some deep runs. I'd expect them on winter side on Sunday. Hey, you know what? Real quick. Yep. I don't even feel like taking the headset off. Anyone got an iPhone charger back here? Uh, I do not. All right, word. I'm going to just put my phone right over there. That is dead as a doornail right now. But it's worth it, man. I'm tapped in right now to this crew battle. No distractions, bro. This is no. this is some great Smash Brothers. This is some great gameplay right here. I mean, again, if you're just tuning in, this is the crew battle, okay? USA versus the world. You've seen this format happen at a multitude of tournaments, okay? But it's done at its most epic here up in the Great White North, courtesy of the boys and, uh, you know, girls and everybody, of course, at EMG. We have put on a great show. So happy to see these players throwing down right here. Good way to cap off the evening, too, for Friday before it's all business tomorrow. Oh, yeah, of course. You know, just a little fun something something for you guys to watch. Yeah. You know, going into the event, obviously, like, me and Joe and the whole team, we're sweating, like, every little decision. We saw it left and drop. Like, you know, oh, man, it's going to be too one-sided. And, you know, what I've resolved on is who cares? We're doing this for your enjoyment. What yeah. else were you going to do? Are you going to be upset watching Smash? Who cares if it's a blah? It's Smash Brothers. It's you're Smash. here. You're watching. You're going to tune in. That's but right. somebody that we haven't tuned into in a long time. Talk to him. Mr. R. Mr. R is back indeed, and I'm so happy to see them here back on at least North American soil. Has had some issues trying to get back into the States to compete. You know, that's not his fault. You know how our, our country can be sometimes. But you it's know how that good. last guy was. You know, how, you know how he was. But you know what, though? I'm happy to see Ramen up here in the Great White North kicking it with us and doing the darn thing. Has been having a great time. I have bumped into both you guys in the VIP room. You know what I'm saying? Stomach full of gushers. Yes, uh, sir. You know, handful of controllers. You guys were gaming it up and playing. But now... 
We're playing on stage for a bragging rights and a thousand extra dollars. Just a cool thousand. No cool. big deal. Just, yeah. just one rack. Yeah. I hope that's okay for you guys. That's right. Okay. Just just one. All right. All right. Cool. Y'all are smashers. You know. That's right. <laughs> Probably weren't even expecting a prize. Man, hello. Bragging rights that's is what we've been running off. That's how I've been paying my rent these last uh, this last <laughs> decade. No commentary. Just bragging I'm rights. I'm sure your landlord loves you, bro. That's where I say, hey, you know, rent's late, but hey, I commentated the top eight. You know, yeah. Hey, like, hey, yeah. You see USA versus the world at Gamble, bro? That hey. was me. Hey, who knew, you know? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get it right here. Game number one, no countdown because, well, because who cares? We locked in it right now. Mr. R with a very strong opening. The Sheik gameplay, the Sheik extraordinaire is here. There's the up throw, though. Now, of course, as good as Sheik condition. And I'm saying that very loosely because she can dish some frame data. She can't really dish some damage. She certainly takes damage as well, too. Very easy to smack around. Yeah, being a fastballer, being light, it's all pretty rough. Ah. And Mr. R finding that out the hard way. Actually, I'm playing. This man has known the struggles from both Sheik's end, Krom's end, right? You find out, like, all the ways that you can have games robbed from you and you play characters like that. That's right. I respect the Sheik players, but I also feel bad for them, man. I, I think you're in, entitled to compensation or something. Yeah, they have fun in Smash 4, okay? That's all I'm saying. Yeah. They, had, they had quite a bit of fun. <laughs> Every dog has their day. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Devin, yo, please tell me that was on air. Devin's, oh. Devin's a bad guy. Devin's saying it's guy. looking like MK Leo versus Mr. R in Smash 4. And oh. if you don't know what that means, go ahead and look up one of them sets, especially from Showdown Battle Royale. Sure, I was just about to say, that, yeah. one, that one, not nice. That was, I'm pretty sure we were on the mic for that. That we was were. ugly. Whoa. Okay, the bird is the word, but recovering is certainly not right here for Falco. Yeah, first don't fly, man. No, not, not this one. Not in this game. No. Not in melee especially. Yeah. Them birds be sinking. Yeah, they most certainly do right here. All Mr. Right. R looking good right now. You know, was able to take a stock. Had to drop a stock in the process, but that's okay. As long as you're still in the bracket, or I guess still in the crew battle, that's all you can really ask for right here. Yeah, I mean, you had to go through the titanic force that is Tilde, right, after yes. that hot run. What were you saying, Dev? Oh, oh, coming to us. Eh. <laughs> hey, sometimes right. you drop the ball. Been only doing this for half my life. It is true. Yeah. It is true. A lot of tournaments under our belt. And the same could be said for those players on stage as well. I mean, Star, of course, locked in, did a phenomenal job at getting rid of Tilde. Because Tilde, I mean, all the players on stage are strong. Okay, don't get it twisted. But Tilde is one of those players where they get that one spark of, you know, momentum. And it just, they know yeah. how to apply it thoroughly. And we've seen it most notably in singles and doubles. We're seeing it right here in the crew battle. You got to get Tilde ass up out of here and fast, okay? Because Falco... That's a, that's a scary character. Yeah, you don't want him going on a run. And no. to be fair, he already did go on a run. He did. Right through Alch's soul. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, it didn't end too well. And but Space Boots was moving. Either way, we're going to have Team World making counterpick. It's been them at the advantage the whole time. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm sorry, Team USA is making a counterpick now. Yep, yep. But, yeah, uh, the World has had the advantage the whole time. And then just Tilde shaking things up. I don't know. That might be the wrench in the plans of Could Team be. World that we needed. Could be. I mean, Team USA needed yeah, that's right. And, I mean, of course, the ties about are always ever so shifting here, especially in a crew battle. Um, again, the gameplay that the team captain brings to the players as this format kicks off changes. I mean, boom, just like that. I mean, it can change because this player or this team sent in that player. It can change due to the stock, you know, count. I mean, we've seen some crew battles, bro. We've done so many college events. Like Ganondorf on the team, you know, King K. Rule, King DVD. Like, there's no way this character is any good. But, hey, depending on the stock count in the player, that character could be your worst nightmare, bro. The character doesn't have to be good. As long as the player's nope. good, it could work out. That's it, bro. And especially <laughs> in such a counterpick heavy format, right? It's like you play the game on your terms when you're the losing team or the team that just lost the last match. Yes. So there's a lot of chances for either crew to claw their way back into this. But now they're only down one. Just Mr. One. R, you know, he cooled till day off. That was good. Let's see what the rest of the the rosters look like, what order they're going to come in on. I'm trying to cheat ahead and look at the, the crowd cam. Yeah, but somebody's. People walking in the front row. I see Phil up there. I see I see Tweak. I see Meister. Big I boss, see a lot of players. Yeah, light. Sit, sit next to Light. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, have we decided? It's okay. decision day, boys. Decision day. Draft day hat coming soon. Okay, I see Tweak Captain on the ground. Captain Phil, see, who I, are we putting in? I know that buzz cut anywhere. That's that's Tweak. Meister, of course. See the luscious locks in the front row. Apollo Kage, big shout out to them, of course, in their new sponsorship. I know they're only sponsored for about 30, 30 days or so, right? Is that how that works? It's this event, I believe. Just, just I'm, this I'm event. actually, you know, it's bad admission here. I'm not 100% sure on the terms, but, you know, hey, it's it something like what, that. But you know what, though? Hey, it got him in a jersey, and it got him here comfortably. That's all we care about. Exactly. Oh, Goblin, Goblin coming in. Okay. So Goblin, I think, one of the wild cards in this crew battle because 
his his performances at tournaments range from like out of this world crazy to mm. a little bit underwhelming sometimes. Sure. But it all evens out to an extremely strong player. That's right. And I don't think it has anything to do with, with Goblin. I think it's more so like the characters he picks. I think 100%. I honestly think Goblin is too intelligent of a player sometimes to be limited to just Roy. I think like he could play just about any darn character in this game, but I'm I'm loving the Roy gameplay. Um curious to see what this young man of course is gonna bring to the table here. Um, because I know he has a pretty deep pocket as well, too. It's the Roy that we've all grown to love, but I've seen him certainly play other characters in friendlies. However, when $1,000 on the line, ain't nothing friendly about that. I need that yeah, check. Yeah, yeah. Yo, I got a great story about Goblin and Colin. So me and Joe are going up to the room last night after setup. We're going up the escalators. We pass Col uh, Cola and Goblin on the mm -hmm. way down. We're like, yo, what's up? Dab him up from the other side of the escalators. And then we realize we forgot something, and we got to turn back. So uh -oh. we go back down. Mm -hmm. And we see Goblin and Cola coming up the escalator, handful of gushers from the VIP room. And we're like, come on, boys. Like, All right, you know what? Anyone else but you two, we'd be a little more mad. Hey, players but, gotta but eat, man. Let's see if he could be as crafty in game as he is in real life. Well, let's see how it all unfolds, man. It does take a bit of craftiness to play a character like Roy, man. I think the character being so cut and dry, we think we know the character's approach options. A little bit of ambiguity goes a long way with some of those more cut and dry linear characters. And I think yeah, Goblin applies it very well. Yeah, of course. I mean, you don't get this far with a character that simple. No, well, unless the character's really good, and Roy is. That's true. But you also got to be really smart, and everyone knows the matchup, right? I think for a long time, Roy was the most commonly played and the winningest character in Ultimate. There was a that long, about long right, yeah. period where he, was, he I had... I can see it. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was number one, if not one of the top three spots on all those results tweets that the, the stat mans used to tweet out. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. Of course, the meta has kind of passed Roy by a little bit, but not because of Sheik. No, absolutely not. It damn sure because of Sheik. <laughs> absolutely not. We're talking about meta, meta's gone by. Sheik missed the bus a few times. All right. Yeah, but she was riding, you know, 20 years of melee, four years of Smash 4. She's had her time. She's definitely had her time in the limelight. Still a good character, I will say. Just yeah. very tough and very stressful. That's right. Well, let's see how this goes. Down tilt, of course, over the ledge. Smart option right there. Just a little bit misplaced on a character like Sheik. She's kind of hard to deal with off stage, man. She could come back from some crazy distances. And, of course, recovery option is kind of ambiguous. Mr. R2, season of events to just give you the directional air dodge in. Are you crazy, bro? And, and too much time on Krom. Oh, that's also true, too. I forgot there was a Krom arc right there with Mr. R. Yeah. Oh, that was a long arc. I think he's still battling the Krom player allegations to this day. That's true. He also plays Roy in HDR. <laughs> but, uh, oh, 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 oh. Did, didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's keyed into what Goblin is going to be looking for, which is one reason I'm not so sure about this counter pick, right? I think Sheik does well against all the sword characters. She's got that speed, mm. that whiff punish ability, but she's also light as a feather. And you're seeing it right there. So comboable as well. Goblin going to take the first stock in this exchange here. I know both sides kind of keeping the match grounded, too. I got to give it to Miss Star. Sometimes keeping it just simple, you know, leaning into that frame two jab that Sheik has, or sometimes just near out his shield. Goblin kind of playing their game, too. Roy's and Krom's standing jab, I mean, it ain't as fast as Sheik's, but damn it, it, it opens up the door for something just very dangerous on the other side. And Goblin, of course, doing what he's supposed to do right here. Oh, looking for that bouncing fish as well. Hey, Goblin played a lot of Smash 4 mm -hmm. with a much weaker Roy. So you know he's looking for those common habits out of disadvantage. Oh, yeah. For Sheik players, CSS players, Diddy players, those movement specials, all certainly top of the list. Uh-huh, top of the heap, if you will. Uh, okay, we... Okay, uh, smart. I was a little afraid right there. Of course, Roy and Kron can shark really well. Uh oh not the trays. They're not working in Sheik's favor anymore, okay? Oh, but... The resiliency at the ledge, drop down there. Yeah, go ahead and air dodge into that blast zone, homie. You ain't coming back. Oh, no freebies in a match like this, of course. But hold up, Mr. Oh. R bleeding out. Oh, but has to play like he's not, though. And this is what makes Mr. R so dangerous. Even when you are playing from behind 111%, you can't play the long game versus Roy. You have to get in and get them hands a dirty. But unfortunately enough, you won't be able to do that anymore here in this portion of the crew battle. Mr. R gonna take a trip back into the audience. Goblin right here still looking good. All right, Tilde and Goblin both honestly putting some big numbers up here in this crew battle. Goblin taking two for the price of one right there. Mm -hmm. Eliminating whole player, but wow, you see another European legend already rushing the stage. It's gonna be Siski, and there's Ooh, a little lore. I'm afraid it is. There's a little lore in this head-to-head -head matchup. Um, listen, and Roy. talk to me. You remember Let's Make Big Moves 2022? I was, I, I was there. I was present. I believe there were six matches of Samus versus Roy in the top 32. Mm-hmm. That's a lot. That's a lot of Samus, man. But you know what? Those are a nice break from the norm, and only a tournament like Let's Make Big Moves could certainly bring that diversity out in the community. But Samus, 
you know, every so often, love to see it. When I see Samus all the time, I get PTSD, man. Uh, that you remember Coinbox from this week, man? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Samus is so else, bro. That character is, uh, she ain't bad, okay? I think not that goes close, without saying. Yeah. She's not, like, super-duper good either, but I think her not being bad mixed with the matchup unfamiliarity, mixed with how great Siski is as a player and all the other Samuses like Icy Mist and all the other ones out there, this character, we might see more of them here in the next so many months. I think so, too. I think Samus stock is definitely on the rise in the past year or so. Mm -hmm. And maybe even, like, ushered in by the performances from guys like uh, Quick, uh, Icy Mist, yep. Psycho Maiko, the Wi-Fi legend, Boom. and Let's Make Big Moves 2022. I oh, feel yes, like I kind of brought in this new era of Samus. It was also one of the first majors back after quarantine, right? So... Mm -hmm. One of the things that shifted in that time frame, I think, was how good people perceive Samus to be, how relevant she is in the matchup. And we're definitely seeing Siski's rise to power as, as kind of a symptom of that. Yes. Great great performances all across the board at pretty much every major he goes to. Best in his home country of Spain. Second best in Europe at this point, I believe. Yes, I'd or, have uh, to say. Top three. Top three. Bloom, Bloom, yes, yes, Bloom and forever. Yes. Yep, yep. So definitely up there. Rocking Samus as well, too. Um, you know, people can say what they want about, you know, all the other countries that play Smash, but, you know, you got to really, you know, give it to Europe. They're just, that's just a scary area, man. All those players. Yeah, gone are the days of free you, for sure. Yeah, and guys, guys like uh, Siski and Bloom and Gluto and Mr. R and the, the deep pool of talent they got out there mm -hmm. certainly contributes to that. That's right. But as talent, as great as that is, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't want to work hard. So we God. will see how that plays out here into this match here. I know both players work very hard, but on God, Samus is something else, bro. She ain't nice. Yeah, I think another character who's kind of just overall great against sword characters, right? For Sheik, eh, there's like an execution component to it. For Samus, I think just her game plan is so good at cooling these guys off. She's got a great dash attack for those long range bursts, but also the projectiles, the Zare, mm -hmm. the natural range that she has That's really right. keeps these guys on their toes. The corner control too, her jab a bit faster than Roy's too. So I'm not saying jab is something that Samus wants to lean into. Of course, it's a move that doesn't chain it to itself, but damn it, it's frame three. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and press that A button if I've ever yeah. had to press one in my life. It's got some fat range Ooh. too. Oh my Don't god, trifle with that. No, do not. Proceed with caution with Samus, Dark Samus Hell, even ZSS, all right? If the name Samus is in it, be careful. I think also the ledge traps, man. Mm. With Bomb, I mean, that's pretty universal. <laughs> there's very few characters that have built-in tools to deal with that. Goblin finding out the hard way, there's no easy path back onto the stage. No, there is no easy path to victory at all. Okay, and of course, Goblin just living proof right now, really counting his blessings when it comes to getting back into the corner. Oh, my God. Falling upper gets the sour right there, but getting back towards center stage. Wants to try to keep this match, you know, towards the Pokeball range of this uh, stage. You don't want to be caught in the green or on that the silver out there. That's where Siski really shines. I've seen it most notably at Let's Make Big Moves. I'd, I'd imagine he's going to tap back into that energy here as well. All right, Goblin on the ledge. What's the option going to be? Okay, just a safe jump. Drifts with no button down, but he's going to dash right into the charge shot. Siski. That's how he makes his money, man. He waits for you to get impatient. You see Samus charging that shot up, and you're like, man, I got to do something. I got to infiltrate this space and put a stop to her. But no, that's when he just lets it rip. He's that's so good at the call out. He's so good, of course. I mean, just the, the manageability that you have to have in the back of your head to play a charged character, a character with the charged neutral special, to always know it's charged that much. I can still use that as a mix-up. Okay, it's charged too much. Now I can actually let it rip. And then to keep rinsing and repeating in the corner, such a dangerous feat, man. It's looking good. Wait a dang minute. Man. Whoa, the, no, oh, no, no way. You're you not said, getting back from that, are wait, you? Wait, you oh. got a cape and I can fly. Come on. Wow, I'm shocked that Goblin still had his jump there. He definitely looked like he was down for the count. Of course, at the end of it all, he still is. He not going to take that stock off Siski. No, not at all. Great stuff right there. Siski just blessed, you know what I'm saying, to be playing this game. The character is Dark Samus, bro. That up B out of shield It's just too darn fast. Has great get off me tools. But I think what really scares me the most about Samus is Nair, bro. Those aerial approach options, that right there just makes even characters like Krom and Roy Hill, even Martha and Lucina, they think twice before just, you know, mindlessly jumping in. She has the limbs right there to keep characters like that out. Yeah, okay. for sure, man. And uh -oh, you might uh -uh. think these contact characters are a little sweet when it comes to the range. Absolutely no, not, man. Absolutely. Samus got some long legs. That's right. Nair being relatively safe, like minus four or five or something like that. She can kind of throw that move out at will. 
uh, be, of course, a good get-offing move, especially when you're kind of caught in a pinch and Royan Crom just in the corner with, you know, standing jab. She can get out of jail. I ain't saying for free, okay? No, the definitely bomb, not. The bomb was pretty high, but she can get out of jail if, you know, it stakes get a little high for her. She can put you in jail, which is the most important thing, right? That That's ledge right. play, we saw it time and time again in that match alone. You drop the bomb at the ledge, mm -hmm. drift to center, and yep. you have your charge shot ready to go, man. It's that simple. So and if simple. they jump, just wait. Just wait. Just chill. A little patience goes a long way. They might jump into the bomb anyway, so. That's true. They might make the mistake for you. Siski, of course, looking pretty comfortable right now, cemented firmly in that seat. Dark Samus, of course, getting the job done. But curious to see what Team USA is going to bring. Curious. Yeah, Samus does feel very difficult to counterpick sometimes, right? Like, I think in general, matchups are shrinking a little bit more toward even in Ultimate as people continue to develop the meta. Sure. But I do think, like, you know, once we figure it all out, mm. the, the ratios will get a little more rigid, too. So, mm -hmm. I don't know. I just love seeing the development of this meta over the course of the last, now, five years, if you can believe that. That's four, true. Four point six-ish years. That's right. right. No more patches. It's just really been on us this time, you know? Think back in Smash 4, we had, you know, patches up until sort of the 11th hour for the most part, but I think in this game, patches have been you know, they went belly up. You know, the way of the dinosaurs, they're gone. It's just on us now. And I'm loving that, you know, we're kind of taking the meta and putting it to our own hands. No excuses. Hey, right? man. If your garbage is on you this time. You want to see a game that succeeded without patches, just look at Melee, right? You know, people's conclusions about who's the best, what's the best thing to do, how to play the game optimally. It's ever changing. Certainly shifted. And, you know, there is a patch for Melee. Pow. And nobody plays on it. Not even in Europe. That's right. So sometimes just letting, you know, the powers that be, the, the forces at play, kind That's of right. just figure it all out. That can be the best for the game. But I don't know. Of course, we got a long future ahead of us with Ultimate. Or, or maybe Smash 6 comes out and just completely takes off the market. Who knows? We'll see how it goes. Dang, I just lost the bid. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm on eBay bidding on Pokemon cards. I'm tight. I'm tight. Hate to see it, man. I hate to see it, man. I was, you know, not the tangent too much. The uh, Sun and Moon era. Man, they had these four cards in the set, the Alpha Lithographs. It's like these, like... You know, kind of promotional. They're not really used unknown for play. Stuff. Yes, the unknown ones, bro. And I have three of the four. I bought three at Collecticon last week. And big shout out to everybody that I bumped into there. And I'm just missing the last one. This dude outbidding me. I'm so tight. But it's okay, though. There's more. I'm letting it go. My heart will go on. There's a lot go. of Pokemon cards out there on eBay, man. You, you'll get them next time. I'm going to get them next time. I'm going to catch them all next time. I'm going to catch them all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, let, I'm letting it go. Anyway. I'm going to get back into good spirits right here, courtesy of Siski, and certainly courtesy of my good friend Light right here, the man behind the podcast. That's right. His name is in it. Lights out indeed is in the building. Let's see how this one goes. Yeah, he's trying to turn the lights out on Siski right now, who's still got a very healthy three stocks. It's not going to be all that easy, especially with a defensive character like Samus. If she gets the stock lead, I could see Light getting kind of iced out here. Mm-hmm. Let's see how it all unfolds right here. Now, Fox, of course, has been kind of a thorn in Samus' side since the beginning of, well, forever. And so, here we are, Smash Ultimate, in the current meta that we're in, in a crew battle. Curious to see if Siski is going to switch up the full. I mean, you don't play a character like this at this level without knowing how to fight against the best Fox in the world. So let's see how it goes here, friends. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, charge shot. Oh, don't ever spot dodge in front of me. Have you lost your mind? Okay, bit, bit, of a, bit of a percent exchange right here. Smart on light to try to go for these more clean hits. You don't want to start trading with Samus, especially early on. Up air. Okay. Okay, back into the corner. Playing this one save. Oh, and this is where Siski's at their most dangerous. That slightly charged neutral special, those down special, those bombs, excuse me. That right there is going to make you think twice before recovering haphazardly. Now, wait a darn minute. What late? Light, like, what's going on here? I don't like not. Oh, I don't no. like not none of that. Not even a little bit. Oh, it's looking uh, pretty spooky for Team USA. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got to see them close that distance out and toss that nair out. There it is. There's one. Okay, but unfortunately, that was met with the receiving end of a charge, spe a neutral special right here again for Siski. Back to the ledge we go. Boom, dash attack. Look at look at the patience. That move's not real, but that one is. There's the up smash. We'll take it. We closing this joint out, looking real dangerous here. Back to the Pokeball. Don't think you can jump. Nair is good, but my forward air is already out and active. Might not be as fast, but darn it. I need something active versus Fox. Sorry for the radio silence, folks. We're, we're back in it. Either way, it's looking just about dead even at this point. 14 stocks apiece. Light bringing it right back, as he's known to do, right? This is one of the most explosive players in the game for a reason. Oh, yeah. His character certainly doesn't hurt his case. 
Okay. There's another dash. And I like this. Playing the floor is lob. I mean, I know it's an age old trope, but when it's Samus, you know what I'm saying? You got to play it that much more effectively. You cannot let her jump around for free. Gets the reflex right to the up smash. It ain't true, but it felt true in my heart, to be honest. <laughs> if you believe it, they'll believe it. That's right. That's how you got to play sometimes, honestly. Ah! Wow, Siski though, continuing to set the pace here. Team US starting to slip behind in these crucial moments where only a few players left on each side. Mm. Uh-oh, nice, gets the upper. Oh my goodness, Siski getting frisky right now. This gameplay looking real scary right here on Life's Path. There's the Ooh. up smash though. Getting Try risky it. too though. Bingo, give me them bars, Max. Okay. Locking Siski up. You ain't gonna be able to shoot that for free here anymore. I'm jumping in. Okay. Sharking him down with up airs, forcing him into the corner. This is looking as good as it can possibly be. Okay. Ah! Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh my god, that down special is such a dangerous thing for Light to have to work around. Gets the j Okay, gets, gets the jab lock. Okay, now I was afraid. Nair's safe on shield, bro. That's minus three. Don't press no button, Siski. It ain't your turn. It ain't your dang turn. Oh, hold up. This is ah! as close as it gets. Less than a percent in between them. Hold the up throw. If only this were melee. You I still couldn't combo it on Samus. Whoa! The temper on the up smash. Ain't no melee, boy. This ultimate. This light. And it's lights out right there for Siski. Y'all know the jam, okay? We've all heard it. We've all been on receiving end of the... You know, Star Fox fanfare. You know what's funny? I just learned how to play it on the piano. Did you? Yeah, I, I actually have a Jersey clip soon. of myself playing it on the phone. I gotta get back I to put Jersey my phone's soon, dead, man. So I'll show you when it's back on. We got a jam, bro. It's been too darn long. It has, man. Yo, that piano. Ever since I tuned it, man, oh, or yeah. I got it tuned <laughs> before anyone thinks I'm crazy nice and stuff like that for no reason. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it has been sounding great. So that's right. Complete offshoot from the screw battle here, but we definitely do have to get back in uh, in the living room and. You know, get some tunes going. That's right. We most definitely got to do that indeed. Now, we had Mr. Max. We had Light get up there and absolutely terrorize Siski. I was a little bit afraid, you know what I'm saying, because this is still Siski we're talking about. And the ledge trapping, the edge trapping that we have seen them dish out for other players has been scary. And, again, historically with Foxes, all the Star Foxes characters, all of their linear recoveries, it's a very easy task right there for Samus and Dark Samus. But Light was able to basically persevere through that. Crazy. Hey, can we talk about how Siski's taking five stocks, by the way? Five. Two off of Goblin. What did you talk three about? Three off of Light. Mm. Are you kidding? Don't this know man, how this is the it. driest man in esports because he's shutting Moist down right now. <laughs> that is my, crazy. Get my man some Jurgens up there, man. <laughs> no, chill. <laughs> get my man some lotion. All yeah. right. Man, uh, the world team has, by the way, MK Leo, Meister, Spargo, Big Boss, mm -hmm. all waiting in the wings. And I want to say they even have one more. I believe they have an extra. Um, I believe it's 11 members on the, the world crew. So, is it really? Yeah, but all of Team Mexico is in the reserves, which is terrifying. Yo, yeah, yeah. It, it, it ain't looking good, bro. No. It, it ain't, it ain't no. looking good for Team but, USA. But we still got Tweak. We do have Tweak. We got uh, Karama as well, don't we? Karama, yeah. Apollo Kage. Apollo Kage. That's right. And Zamba. And Zamba. And Zamba has had a couple of those players on. Sorry, these fly the flies got health care up here in goddamn Canada, bro. They're strong and powerful. When I swat, they swat back. Wait, hold, hold up. I just realized all the LG players, with the exception of Big D, are still alive in this crew battle right now. Really? They know how to pick them, man. That's true. That's a uh, lot of really good players. I'm saying, LG, if you need a guy to fold some hoodies, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Clean some bathrooms. I know a guy. Uh, and Sonics. That's who the oh, extra. God yeah, yeah, damn. Yeah, 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 this yeah, is yeah. looking rough. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't looking gonna good. Lie. That's my boy right here. The Wonder. Okay. The Phenom from the DR. Okay. He's about to put Team USA in the ER. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Sheesh. Yo, shout out to the Dominican community, man. Man. Y'all really took care of us when we were out there. That's right. My man Ezra, Dama Soul, Nicole. Okay, we coming back. All right, don't play with me. We about to come check y'all out. For real. No, definitely check out Blink Respawn. Beautiful event, man. Beautiful scene out there. You know, I, I love going to countries with smaller scenes just because it's like the passion mm -hmm. that's, that's keeping this going mm -hmm. is so hard to replicate, right? Like... You know, it's no secret that Smash doesn't pay the bills, even here in North America. Right? Yes. Well, I mean, DR is in North America, but still, it is. E even in the U.S. and Canada, Smash don't pay the bills. So when it's really not paying the bills in smaller scenes, like it's those players, their dedication to the grind, yes. to 
even running tournaments, commentary, whatever it is, man. Whatever y'all are doing out there, keep it going. Keep going. All right, it does not go unnoticed. You might not see it right, you know what I'm saying, in full effect when it's going down, but there is a ripple effect. People appreciate the work, and I am one of them. I am people, okay? The Mufungo. <laughs> It's me on people, the Mufungo, Chef's Kiss. If you don't know, Google that dish, okay? Yeah, Let's go ahead bro. and get it. Game number, I guess, well, it ain't one, but you know what I mean. We in it right now, and Sonic's, of course, doing what he does best, taking these characters with linear recoveries off stage for a wild Sonic ride. Man, you're going to need more than Mufungo to get through this, though. It's light in a matchup he's very comfortable in. I'm so surprised they counterpicked Sonics here just because of the record between these two, right? Mm. Obviously, you only got to get through one stock, but Light has been one of the most consistent against Sonics mm. and against Sonic the character for pretty much the entirety of this game. Fox is probably his worst matchup. Yeah, you know, I kind of get like a, uh, I get, there's cer certain characters that, you know, threaten space, you know, when they fight against each other, and yeah. these two are certainly that. It's almost like a, it's an arms race. It's like, it's like some Fallout Boy stuff. Yeah. It's like, who's going to, It ain't gonna, a scene. It ain't a scene, that's for damn sure. Who's going to show their hand first? You know, with Fox, you got dash attack. I can threaten that space with Nair. I got, you know what I'm saying, fall away back here. I got stuff like that. But Sonic can do the exact same thing to Fox. Maybe not quite as good, slightly, slightly less. But, you know, they certainly both bring something similar to the table. Yo, how is it an arms race if they're running on their legs? That's true. I don't get it. That's true. What type of scene is this, my Checkmate, friend? Checkmate, atheists. That's right. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> here we go. Light and Sonic. Ah! Wow, you really tried it, bro. Oh, my God. Yo, Light's different. He is different. Pulls up to the scene with the ceiling missing indeed. All right. That's the time. Uh, don't get out of here. Send them sky high. Ground is not going to be lava. Not if this Nair has anything to say oh. about it. Back there from across the country. Sending that boy to the West Coast. <laughs> we up out of here. Sonic's looking good. And just like that, lights out of this crew battle. That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, Sonic's doing what he came here to do, even up the crew battle. Mm -hmm. Team World lagging behind by one stock. They still, honestly, didn't really get a clean recovery from that Tilde game, no. right? When Tilde came in, three stock riddles, that was such a huge swing. Obviously going to shift the tides a little bit, but now we're back on even footing. It's 12 stocks per crew, mm -hmm. four extremely strong players left on both sides, but especially for the world. I'm not going to mince my words, man. You want to talk top tens, you want to talk, you know, highest ranking status. MK, Leo, Spargo, Meister, Big Boss. It's going to be hard to get through. It's going to be the most difficult of this crew battle to get through. Let's just call it for what it is. I ain't saying Team USA can't do it, though. I mean, I think each and every one of those players are left waiting in the wings. I've certainly had all those players left on Team Worlds, yep. you know, number once or twice. But it didn't come at the expense of all of them not being together. They are all together, leaning into each other, figuring out who's going to go when, where, and how. I'm scared, bro. They, we might really, we might really be the land of the free, depending on how this one all shakes out. And with our Sonic's counterpick gone, light out of the equation now, I don't know, man. Bro. I think he needed to at least take one, bro. right? If, if we maintained a lead, it could be looking a little bit different. But so far, mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm really liking Team World's odds. I'm liking it as well too. I mean, we have seen you know Sonic's completely clean up a crew battle. For those that don't know, he is the best collegiate player on the planet right oh, yeah. now. It's without question. Okay, every time I'm in a conversation about collegiate esports, I ask people, "But have you heard about Sonic's?" Okay, so he knows what it takes to fight through a crew battle. Now, of course, this one a little bit more difficult than the you know the roto he's typically used to. But hey, a thousand dollars is on the line. Sonics, of course, is good at playing for that money. Let's see how it goes. Hey, man, I'm starting a school right now, and I'm giving full rides to Tweak, Spargo, MK, Leo. All right. Yeah. Sonics might have some competition. He might. Hey, you know, if you need Going a professor. Going to gaming university. You need a <laughs> yeah. professor. Okay, I'm saying. Get, get me in there. Professor Stroke, bro. Professor, <laughs> <laughs> professor Rod, was it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, oh, but no. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> well, we have a little fun out here, guys. All right, well, we up in this joint right now. Science, of course, patiently awaiting his next opponent or possibly his next victim, depending on how it all plays out. Uh, of course, we have some talented individuals still left waiting in the wings. One of my personal, I mean, Science, of course, is one of my personal favorite players, but I would love to see a Paul Kage. Been on the road with them these last so many months. You know, we uh, crossed past that sweet spot. They came to KC uh, a couple months ago. And, of course, we're in Ohio together for cost. Big shout, of course, to Spencer and the rest of the uh, Columbus, Ohio. Just Ohio team in general, okay? He does great work throughout Rare the whole Ohio state. Rare Ohio shout-outs. Hey, you know what? Okay, <laughs> nah, Columbus. Nah, I'll give it up. Columbus, Columbus is a nice city. Columbus I like it. Columbus was Chris. You know, 12th, 13th largest city in the world. We held that tournament at the coast side. Biggest science museum on the planet. We had a, uh, I think I told you, you know, we had a, a, a food and arts music festival, you know what I'm saying, outside the venue as well, too. When I tell you I was living an artist's dream, I was having some fun out there. Yeah, no, I, that's your, your stuff, man. That's my jam, man. Big shout out to Spencer. But 
Apollo Kage, I've roomed with them. You know what I'm saying? I got a chance to pick that young man's brain. He is a very intelligent young man and, of course, mentally strong, which is more important than anything in Ultimate. <clears throat> so let's see how it goes. Zamba is here, friends. Zamba getting old, too, man. Can we talk about it? Zamba, <laughs> Zamba kind of Zamba losing, like, you know what I'm saying, the childlike baby face thing, you know what I'm saying? He's starting to stretch out a little bit and become a man. Yes. Man, Zamba, look at man, this. He's got that 5 o'clock shadow, he's bro. He's getting tall. He's getting tall. Yeah, bro, there is a time. You know, Zamba, when he was a kid, he was a little round guy, you know, but then, like, he hit that growth spurt. Man slimmed out, hit that glow up, got the long hair going now. He's doing his thing, man. He's turned. Yeah, man, shout out to Zamba. This kid, he is the ultimate degenerate. If you're just tuning in to Smash Ultimate for the first time, or like you, you're you kind of a newer viewer and you don't know the personalities behind the players, Zamba's got a really big one, dude. He's, right. he's very funny, very chill, too. Uh, but just don't say, cross him on Twitter. Even if you don't follow him on Twitter, Elon Musk is going to make sure you see them Zamba tweets. <laughs> Yo, the algorithm is definitely algorithm, working for him. Man, bro, I'm trying to tell you. But let's see how this one goes. Now, of course... Rob, I mean, has some great boxing tools to keep Sonic at bay. Then, of course, can certainly play the long game courtesy of that gyro and that laser. That's going to make Sonic maybe think once or twice before they decide to come in. Sonic, as a character, has that luxury of, you know, taking as much time as humanly possible. However, this is Zamba we're talking about. That jab, that down tilt, that's going to beat the heck out of Sonic. Oh, hold on, though. Zamba getting some words in edgewise right now. Literally pushing Sonic to the edge. But it's not going to matter. No. Nope. Yep. That spin dash was able to get him right back in the thick of things. Safe Nair on the shield. Oh, and Zamba. I love that call out. He knew he was going to jump with the spin dash. That's right. Tilted it up here that time. Nice. Okay. He knows that Sonic sometimes gets a little jump happy. He's putting out some of these large and in charge hitboxes on Rob's behalf. That Nair and Namely back here to try to keep, to try to keep Sonic off stage. But unfortunately, it is Zamba the one that is leaving their feet. But still two stocks left. They're still in that seat. Still looking good. All right, Whoa. Team USA, you Whoa. got some catching up to do, especially when it's against the fastest thing alive. That might be tough. That's right. On oh, the combo starting. Oh, trying to outlast the air dodge there, oh, but the platform oh, oh, oh. getting in the way. Oh, the signature move, bro? Oh, no, right? Oh, no, don't even think about just running up and grabbing me. Forward air is already out. Forward air is already out. But I do like the call, and more importantly, I do like the patience as well, too. Zamba kind of sharking under these platforms. You know, we talk so much about how dangerous down tilt is, but up tilt... Not quite as fast, but still very, very fast, man. You know, that move, of course, can catch Sonic, especially if they're trying to get a little platform camp happy up there. Yeah, they're both some uh, bull honky, to say the least. Man, bro. Both some cheese. De definitely the dairy aisles. All right. Okay. Oh, maybe the fertilizer aisle, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, mean, I, I tell you. Okay, now it's going to go for the standing jab. Less is more. My arms are sore, though, bro. I got some range on it. We the range bros. And Sonic's is deranged when it comes to playing this game. Yeah, this this Sonic definitely definitely ain't looking definitely ain't looking like anything nice, I man. I gotta I gotta say, no. this is this is certainly a, a, a spot that we have seen Sonic's in before. You know where, they, you know they're up three stocks, very comfortable. Even despite them losing a stock here, we know we have seen when Sonic has kicked up the aggression. We have certainly seen when Sonic becomes kind of this immovable object, man. Like just this, I'm just not willing to give you an inch anymore. I'm no longer tussling with you in the neutral. I'm too old. I'm too far past that. I'm at the point oh. now where I'm just playing to your weaknesses. And you can see right there, Rob off stage, you're just a sitting duck, bro. Yeah, it's crazy because Rob can get back from so far, but of course he doesn't have a hitbox on his upbeat. You can cancel it, throw out them aerials, but Sonic has such a risk-free edge guard with the spring. It's free. <laughs> yeah. Not, not even half off, bro. It's free day. <laughs> yeah, BOGO, man. Bo forget Bogo. about that. It's free balloon day. There you go, man. Okay, a lot of nares in the corner, and I oh, like that. hold up. Ooh, ooh, the Zombear keeping it close. Now, you know what? No matter what, whoever wins this stock exchange right here, both crews are in good hands. You got to keep it as close as possible. Zomba with the chase. Hold on. What are you plotting there, brother? Oh, my God. Then try to catch him with the down there in the corner. Such a smart Whoa. thing to do. Sonic, of course, taking their full and sweet time in the corner, not wanting to show their hand too early. These hitboxes on Rob might not be the fastest hitboxes, at least for their meteor moves, but they last quite a bit of time. And if timed properly, they will catch you, Mr. Hedgehog. Oh, oh no. Sonic's with some reads of his own here coming in. And again, that spring ah. risk-free edge guard. Get right back to the stage. Drop a hitbox on him. Keep Zamba guessing. Give me that. On. Where's that up tilt? Where's that frame for up tilt, Rob? What's up? He's jumping around you for free. What you gonna do to stop it? Okay, spring right there, force him to go low. Okay, oh. back to the ledge. 
Oh. Like the recovery path there from Zama. Oh, but hold on. I think he actually was looking for a trade right there. Possibly looking for that fall off the platform, maybe back there or in there. He said, look, I'll take I'll take the damage. No way! No! What the? Dude, I've seen too many of these moments from Zamba, and he's still alive. Hold on. Sonic's with one. Whoa, no way. Two ways back, and the other being Zamba dropping the edge guard, barely off on the spike. What is happening? He's running out of gas. You better get back on that stage. There's the back air. That's going to close it out. Now, look, that ain't the first. I'm, look, that was a robbery. That was a robbery. That ain't the first time I've seen Zamba get robbed like that. Hey, okay. he was plotting as well, man. He had a little heist cooking up himself. Bro. Because you saw him almost make that happen with like 70% on Sonics before the, the back air connected. Oh, man. If that killed, I don't even know. Can my heart handle this? Can my heart handle this? There's the spring right there, resetting the recovery, trying to get him to burn that gas. There's the back air. Call an ambulance. You know how the rest of that saying goes. Of course, out to the magnifying glass, kissing it. We're still looking good, though. And then we try to rinse and repeat again with the side special. Can I get the spin to win? I said, can I get a spin to win, player? And then the neutral get up. Ugh. Perfect timing. The last rising frame that would connect with Rob's head, I think, as well. Man, Damn. Rob is big, as it turns out. And getting hit in the head with that move, that's unfortunate. You know, a shorter character, Sonic would have had to go lower to the ground. That's take right. a lot of time to set that up. But no, you get some privileges when you're fighting the big bodies. Rob, Rob gets a lot of his own, too, so you can't really feel that bad. That's true. I can't feel bad for him. It's still so weird, though, to see so many of his patented KO options. Not even the Zomb, but like the Zomb Bear. I'm talking about just Rob's KO options, period. Not be enough to KO, man. It's just, that's a rough one. That was, that was a rough one to see. But hey. That's what we come to see here at Get On My Level, okay? We want to see final hit situations shake out the way that match just did. That's what happens when the best the best go against each other, right? That's the kind of experience we're trying to bring you here at Gama. That's why we're doing this crew battle, right? You get a little taste before the, the main bracket kicks off, right? You still want to see these top talents duking it out, yep. right? And that's why we invited 21. You know, it should have been 23, but we had a couple dropouts. 21 of the best players in the world it happens. present for this. That's right. That's right. We made sure that they were locked in for this wonderful crew battle. Now, my question is, who's going to be locked in for Team USA? Now, Sonics, of course, is a formidable force, okay? He kind of went into that, I'm not going to be this unstoppable force I did Sonic the Hedgehog anymore. I'm going to be this immovable object. I'm going to basically counteract everything you do and play directly to your weaknesses. And for Rob, their biggest and most glaring one is their inability to not only land comfortably, but just their ability to just get back to the ledge in general, which is like the number one rule in Smash. Can you recover? Right, yes, you right. can versus some characters, not versus Sonic. That ain't happening, bro. Nah, I think, you know, Sonic has some of the best edge guards in the game. Also, the combos into forward air off spin dash deep mm -hmm. out there. You know, it's not technically an edge guard, but he puts you right off stage, sets up into the kill off of it. Uh, he gets back pretty well. Yes. His up B goes pretty far. He got the air dodge mix up slash emergency option at the end of it, too. You got a lot of stuff going on off the level with Sonic. So does Rob, mm -hmm. but you can see it's not always perfect. No, it's not always perfect. Sometimes, uh... You know, sometimes things just don't go your way. I, I, no. That's the only real way I can put that. I do feel bad for that young man. Zamba, of course, such a talented player. Definitely going to see them later on in singles. I don't think – did they do doubles today? Uh, I want to say Zamba did sign up for doubles, but okay. I think his teammate like, couldn't make it last minute or something uh, like that. I, I think something happened. Unfortunately. I remember some spaghetti associated with it. But Hey, the real know. money's in singles. It's okay. No worries. Yeah, that's true. what he's really up here in the Great White North for. Oh, Ooh. my, 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 my. Karama about to bring the drama mm. right here with Mr. Sonics. Let's Hide see how it goes. baby mama. That's right, bingo. And this is the Olympic Games, bro. That's true. That's true. Mario versus Sonic. Of course, the tale is old as time. Sega does with Nintendo and blah, 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 blah. That's you, right. Y'all you, you heard it before. We've all seen it. We have all seen it. He said, hey, all I'm going to say is that only one of us still has a console, buddy. All right. Remember, right. your mascots on our console these days. However, Sonic's games, though, they not bad. I'm a Sonic Riders fan myself. All right, Twitch chat, I don't care what you got to say about it. All right, I do like Sonic Riders. <laughs> Dude, I love Sonic Adventure, too. You know? Good game. Well, while, while these guys are setting up, nah, never mind. But basically, that's the game that got me into competitive Smash. Was it really? It's a long story, yeah. The lore runs deep with this one up here, friends. Shout out to Sonic Adventure, too. And the Chow Garden. Bring that back. Would Man. be a fire mobile app, just saying. Bro, talking about me, Tomo, I need the Chow Garden, okay? Yeah. That's, that's all I need. That's all I need in this life of sin. All right, let's get it right here. Karama, of course, three stops. We got Sonic's right here just on a very uncomfortable one. Okay. Well, let's see how this one is going to unfold here for both of these two talented individuals. We're going to use a lot of fireballs to try to find those openings. And that's one thing I really like about Karama's gameplay, those, like, rising fireballs. I'm going to use them. 
you know what I'm saying, from the air, if they hit, then I'll be able to string something long because I'm probably going to land with Nair, and then you know what comes after that, damage. Exactly. I mean, both of these characters with some pretty deadly combos, but need I say more, Karama is on the sticks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> with a uh, character like this in his hands, that guy's punish game really goes the distance, but Sonic the Hedgehog is good at running distances very far away from his opponents. Kind of makes this a hard matchup head-to-head. -head. I know the Mario players have dreaded it for a long time. I'm a little curious about the counter pick, but I know they also want to save certain players for future opponents as well. So right. if you only got to tie up one stock, this isn't that bad. It's kind of like picking Sonics into light. That's right, 100%. All right, so the counter pick advantage is still very much present here. We'll see for how much longer those Sonics, if they can at least get one stock right here, this is certainly the slight advantage, but still an advantage nonetheless that they definitely need to succeed. Okay, oh, I love that up smash immediately out of shield. We're also seeing Karama go for a lot of safe options on the approach. Smart, you know what I'm saying? Sonics is never not moving. A lot of neutral specials. Of course, a lot of Nair as well, too. We talk about Luigi's frame three Nair. His bigger brother got the same frame on that Nair, bro. Sure thing. And it, does, ah! it doesn't do the same job killing, but as an active hitbox, it is uh, right up there with Luigi's. And Bingo. They also share an up smash, if you couldn't tell. That's going to put Karama uh, right back into this. I mean, Team USA evening the odds once again. It's been very back and forth for yes, the last has. good while. Yeah. yeah. And this is, you know, uh, certainly the way I wanted to see it as well, too. Maybe the dropouts were maybe a good thing. I mean, of course, we always want players here, but like you said before, you know, we, we got onto the crew battle. I think it kind of made the narrative for both sides maybe intertwine a little bit more evenly than what we probably would have seen before. I feel like it would have been a little bit more top heavy towards Team World, if, if I may say so myself. Yeah, I have to agree. Uh, well, I don't know. Yeah, Jackal and Shuton. I'd say they're you know they're both such great picks for, sure. for both. I think Shuton is the higher ranked player currently. So yeah, but what does that really mean these days? I yeah. mean, I think a player, especially explosive, is Jackal. I mean, we've seen exactly. Apex. We've seen Crown, bro. Yeah, Crown too, Crown. man. Crown and Apex. You know, Jackal can certainly turn that joint up. Yeah, one of the best out there. And you know, I really would love to see him come out to more majors. He's been going to a lot of majors. Unfortunately, you know, he's also got a, a busy personal life, right? So he couldn't make it to Gaumo last yep. minute. Jude, my brother, I miss you. Wish you were here. Uh, one of Jersey's goats for, for years now. I mean, the, the dude exploded onto the scene, especially in 2018. Oh, he yeah. took that MK Leo win, and I believe he also beat Void at that tournament, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Top yes. eight winners. That's right. That's I, right. And, I mean, you know, you only get a performance like that once in a lifetime, but not if you're Jude Jackal Harris. You'll nope. do it again at it Crown, again. second place, only behind Zama. That was literally Fusion Grand Finals, our local yep. back home in Jersey. Yeah, Try to so. stay too strong, bro. Too we strong. are uh, Quick crack, as the kids say. That's right. That's right. I mean, it just goes back and forth, coast to coast, every game. So, you know, back in Smash World is all about the West Coast. And now here we are back in the East where fighting games thrive. Just the eastern part of the country, period. You know, Florida, Atlanta, you know, Tri-State. Yeah. All right? You know, y'all don't want no problems. Dare I say uh, the East Coast is is the spiritual home of fighting games. Y'all can have eSports out there in L.A., you know, that's fine. That's, that's fine. right, but we got the storylines that the eSports monsters crave so much in fighting games. We got yeah. those in the East for you. All right, also, can I, I need some coffee crisp in my life. Can somebody hook me up Yo, with some I'm coffee crisp? I'm trying to crisp? start my day the Canadian way, brother. That's right, hey, there. All right, okay. I need not only just the health care, but I also need some coffee crisp. That's facts, man. Yeah, coffee crisp. Yo, big shout out to them pulling up to this event. So sick to see like a candy bar they see in every Canadian convenience store actually at Gommel, right? It was like, very good too. Yeah, dude. I it, ate a whole it's bag crack. yesterday. If you're not from Canada, I implore you to try Coffee Crisp. Like zero paid shill action. I swear to God. Like I found them before they even had anything to do with Gommel or EMG or anything. And I was like, yo, why don't we have this at home? Yeah. And if they bring it on commentary, I'm gonna be eating it as we uh, as we cast. So mouthful of Coffee Crisp. It's gonna happen. Yeah, All it's right. a nice little way to, you know, pick up your day, like, nothing crazy heavier. You know, you might think it's chocolate. Oh, shouldn't be eating this. No, it's actually, it's not all that bad for you. No, absolutely not, man. It is great for your taste buds, particularly. Man, That's bro, who are you telling? <laughs> bro, when I ate one, one of the, you know, the girls in charge of the booth, they handed me a little bit yesterday, and I just kept eating it, man. Oh, oh, ho, oh, oh, thank hey. you. Hey, hey. no, nah, that's service. The goat. The goat. Can we get some product placement? Let's go. Dude, all right, yo, and I will say the best variant of Coffee Crisp is the Pops. Pops. That's right, mobile. Let's go ahead and get it. I'm sorry, friends. We could talk about Coffee Crisp all day. Yeah, but we got to talk about the Coffee Crisp. Max, please, here. please tap in, all right? Let's get it. Meister and Karama, okay? Two talented players meeting a crew battle like this. You know it ain't going to be nothing nice. Hmm. Okay, yeah, especially a matchup like this, I, I think it's a great counter pick. Game of Watch bodies all those contact there. Oh, God, absolutely, man. Dash attack so good, though, in the corner, man. Why does that move last as long as it do for Mario? I don't Dash get it. Dash attack so good. Dash attack so good. Dash attack so good.
game, 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 game. Grab. That, that's Mario for sure. That is facts, bro. <laughs> Coffee. But yeah, uh, got me feeling like a cowboy out here. <laughs> okay. The brain rod is too real, man. I'm sorry. I'm stepping away. It's okay, man. Okay. Love the F tilt. You delicious. I'll take all of that. Yeah, we're definitely having snack time on the low. It's been a long crew battle. Almost two hours. You can tell these guys really thinking about the, uh, every decision. Mainly actually ended a while ago, like five, ten minutes ago. Mm. But that's fine. We already, you know, that's par for the course. Yeah, you know better than that, trying to go for up smash reads, bro. Who, who you think taught you how to do that? Right, I'm Mario. Yeezy taught. That's right, Yeezy taught me. Oh, oh. wow, right through the ledge with that. Okay. You gotta watch out when Game Watch is up being. Hold no! on! Oh! You're never safe! This man had his back turned, almost like playing dead. It's like, oh no, I'm not even facing the ledge. What's gonna happen? Man, bro, how uh, often do you see somebody stage fight Game & Watch? Or do anything off stage versus Game & Watch? When Game & Watch is off stage, I'm coming back, bro. The reverse edge guard. Meister just wasn't ready for it. He didn't think Karama was gonna swing back in a big spot like that. But hold on, speaking of swinging, Meister getting some of his own in there. Mm -hmm, Those swinging neutral right well, On that up B, that's one of the reasons why characters in short range struggle so much against Game & Watch. That trampoline, it's gonna reach unless you got a big sword pushing him away from you. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've seen a lot of space with that backer to try to circumvent that. The backer, of course, pretty damn good move. I think mine is like two or three at the quickest on shield, so yeah, it's, it's looking pretty, pretty powerful right now. Good way to kind of set the tone and just again not not let Myers get a little too haphazard with their approaches. Not to say that that's the type of player that he is. He's certainly very calm, cool, and collected with his gameplay. A very cut and dry and effective game plan with Game & Watch. However... Yeah, haphazard, oh. definitely not a word I'd describe it with. No, <laughs> not at all. Not. No. This man is calculated. He's chilling. Mm. Oh, and he is opportunistic for sure. Once he sees that that last option go out the window off the stage, he's coming for you. Mm-hmm. Without question, every time. God damn, these coffee crisps are so good. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> coffee crisps so good. I mean... <laughs> dang, dang. <laughs> Got me feeling like a Canadian. Hey there. Hey there. Hey there. <laughs> hey, bud. <laughs> okay, I'll be out of shield. Clean stuff right there. That's the tried and true Meister. Don't touch my shield, bro. I don't care how minus any of your arrows are, Mr. Mario. Don't touch my shield. You know, up B's coming. Yeah, you know what's funny? Both of these guys got a frame three. I'll be out of shield. But the gap between them is just so wide. Oh, my God. Hold up. Trump Bear, though, from Karama. Doing it the American way, brother. That's right. I mean, that's, that's the impeached bear. We call that one. <laughs> yeah, facts. Okay, back here. Oh, and I love this. Kind of threatening them in right here. Spacing with these uh, with these tilts, excuse me. The angle down, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, no one's going to roll him. Oh, clean. Clean backer. Really has to fight his way out of the corner. That's that split second decision making that really separates, like, you know, strong players from, like, you know, top professional talent, you know, players, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. knowing, okay, I have to throw a little percent around here at the split second to get this guy off of me. Oh, Karama, though, just so patient. Not really engaging with Meister's game here, but hold on, that neutral there could have been a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is gonna be a lot of damage. Man, this is crazy. Karama fighting for his country. Meister with the world on his shoulders right now. I feel like whoever wins this game wins the crew battle. I'll call it right now. Oh, that's without question. We're gonna okay, see a ship there pretty soon. Going. Oh my god. Okay, no, oh yeah, don't touch my shield, bro. Again, I don't care how minus your aerials are, Mr. Mario. Okay, just up beyond the shield. Ain't nothing nice! No way. Oh, they both got the, the invincible up smashes, too. It's just, uh, you might really notice it on one of them. Mm -hmm. Game and punch, that is. Hold on. Meister off stage. Wow, I, I did not know that that reflected the water. Bucket against Flood. Down B war here. It's Meister winning out, but hold on. Anybody's game still? I think Game & Watch does God, die to an up smash, it. but he's certainly going to kill with one. Little bit of impatience on the part of Karama. It's going to allow Team World to maintain that one stock lead that they came into this with. Mm -hmm. He tried it, man. He took a page out of his book. He said, I know you're going to try to up smash. I ain't having it. Look at this. And look, he wanted to up smash too. He wanted to use the little slide from the reverse. Up. Oh. They both, oh, yeah, you say, you see yourself trying to do my dance. Like Pharrell said, you, you can't do it, bro. Dude. You can't do it. You how, can't do my dance. How did that hit? I have questions. This is not an answer. No, it's not. That ain't right. That boy ain't right, I tell you what. 
No way, yeah, yeah. Right, right. No way, yeah. That was crazy, bro. I don't know, man. Somebody uh, investigate. Check the patch on the setup, right? Check the damage ratio. And check out Coffee Chris, the pox, okay? Yo, for real, though. I mean, I, honestly, I, I would tell you this free of charge. And you know, you could hold me to that next tournament that they're not a sponsor of. I will shout out Coffee Chris. They're actually fired. Dark um, question. I'm just trying to put you guys on. I'm not doing my job, but I am at the same time. Come come see us up here in Canada, okay? We got Coffee Chris. What else do you need? We got poutine, Coffee Chris, healthcare. You know what I'm saying? We got everything <laughs> okay, you need. We got a boat party, bro. And also, we always got a boat. I'm forcing I'm going to miss the boat party, but we do have a Wait, boat party. Really? It's well, Sunday, ain't it? You leaving Sunday? Dre has to go back home. Oh, nah, regret. brother. Take a bus home, man. Take a bus to Detroit. I know, bro. <sighs> Damn, that's that's unfortunate. All right, well, either way, we'll talk about that later. Let's talk about Apollo Kage, man of the hour, mm -hmm. man of the month. Him mm -hmm. and Zamba, of course, receiving that temporary LG sponsorship. Super hype. But, man, this is now the third or fourth time in a row where I think the counter picks have been just straight up wrong. Right? Like, you're, you're picking bad matchups, like... Sonic into Fox, Snake into Game & Watch, right? But, of course, being that there's only one stock that needs to be peeled back here, I see the rationale, right? Just mm -hmm. get it out of the way. As long as you're able to outplay him from one singular stock, you don't have to worry about uh, too much about the matchups. And AK holding his own for sure. Oh, my, my, my. Okay, up till's coming soon, bro, to a theater near you. But no, the boot Psych. swing in a different way. It's the back air. Got Apollo that. Kage getting real, real antsy up there. But that 90 degree <laughs> up tilt right there, the back air, bro. hit rotate and paint, and that's what you get. You, know, you could see in the back of the player cam, MK Leo pointing the finger at himself saying, me? Me? And is it going to be getting up. There that's he right. is. He is. Stepping up to the stage, the GOAT the himself. Goat. The GOAT, in my personal opinion. Say what you want, numbers, guys, okay? All I'm saying is when your favorite player can show up to the Ludwig Invitation and do what this young man did, then we can talk about GOAT stuff. You math guys, save it. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm not interested in any of that nerd stuff, bro. MK Leo, my goat forever. Free. But, of course, we got the other goat, the new goat, Spargo. We do. Waiting in the back as well. So I believe uh, I believe it is six stocks to six, right? We're down to the final two players. Yes, sir. I think it's just AK and Tweak left on the U.S. And then for the world, it is a mixture of Leo, Spargo, and Big Boss. So here we go. We got the biggest boss, though, MK Leo sitting down. LG Dittos, by the way. That's right. No matter, how this one, no matter how this one spins out, it's a dub for LG, okay? LGW. Can we get some of them in the chat? Doing great stuff for Smash here these days, all right? Making some big moves for Shirley. That's right. Let's all go right. ahead and get it. Here it Mr. is. Mr. Pliskin is here, my friends. Oh, and but it's Joker. Hey, think back to the last summit. That's true. This matchup did happen, and it did go in the favor of AK. It did. Oh, wow. I love that down air to try to catch the tether. A lot of active hitboxes right there. Just make it a little easier to catch him on the real end. But no, MK Leo just perfectly timing that. I want to say that first stomp and dare, too, is like his fastest aerial, too. That move is crap. It is, yeah. It comes out of frame three. Yeah, that move is not okay. Most characters don't even have a frame three aerial. You wouldn't really expect Snake. Bro. To be leading the pack in terms of aerial frame data. Yes, aerials and tilts faster than most characters' jabs. Can you believe it? Yeah, it's facts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, you know better. You tr Don't ever try things. Okay. Try to counter. He think he was probably anticipating up tilt, which is probably smart on him. Right there, both sides kind of let each other off the hook. Whoa! Okay. Off of his feet. Not a comfortable spot for him to be in at all. Smart on him to go. Oh, was that calculated or did he just get lucky? I think he got a little bit lucky, but of course, you know, you always want to keep that grenade near you for the insurance policy. AK, so quick to react off of those situations. That's the advantage the snake players will always have over you, right? They know the ins and outs of some of these tricky things. Wow, love Not that the Nikita, Nikita placement. Oh, and another one! That time it's going to connect. That time it's going to be the sweet spot. And Apollo Kage with damn near 200% on him is going to take the lead, but only for a brief second as MK Leo comes right back. That's right. Easy come, easy go. All right, they call me the GOAT for a reason. I can't just let you have a lead. All right, I'm going to come back and reclaim it as mine. Okay, there's there. Whoa! Oh, drop the oh. leg on him! Drop the leg on him! Oh, Leo trying to use the Rebels Guard as well. Try to get some of that meter bill off of the C4 detonation. It's still on him, by the way, folks. AK a little hesitant to pull the trigger. He knows Leo could probably get out of it for free with a well-timed air dodge. Oh, I'm scared of this. Okay, now he's going to go for the turnaround F tilt. This is good. He's so good at playing to his win condition here, especially versus Snake. Snake, of course, going to struggle to get back onto stage. 
smart on here on Paul Kage to manage his resources properly, knowing how much percent he can take in order to get back on when, uh, versus when it's time to just throw out an aerial and go for the trade. Forward throw, Arsene's here, bro. Nice and sneaky, maybe trying to catch AK dashing back and DI'ing the wrong way. Oh, hold up. Can't always pluck those grenades, though. It is going to get predictable after a while. And some free meter to boot. Leo, you getting back to the stage this time? Or is the funny little airplane going to get you? Oh, yes. Oh, oh, wow. Scared him to death, literally. Oh, my God. Good Lord. Ooh. Thought you were the man without fear. Whoa, okay. Down tilt. Uh, don't ever air dodge in. Don't ever do that, bro. I love the up air poking through the stage right there. Ooh, MK Leo caught off guard. That's a rare statement. Okay, come on, bro. Okay, Just trailing behind ever so slightly, but of course playing the long game versus Leo. I mean, you're going to even up percents, but it's going to come at the cost of that Arsene meter. Turn around, F smash indeed. Ah, get oh. off of that Cypher. Just barely hitting that back here too. Oh, AK forced to use the C4 to get himself back on safely. Not going to get hit again, but of course he is bleeding out. Leo looking for that forward air. You know what that means. That is a kill shortly to come. Okay. Oh, uh, what the? Whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. Now, what on earth was Apollo Kage thinking? Oh, man. Or well, was that a time where you don't even think? You don't want the analysis paralysis to get you. You just got to let, know. you know, the, the muscle memory take place. I know what I'm thinking. What's that, bro? There's only one man left to hold down the USA, and we're going to see the crew captains going at it. Damn. Tweak versus Leo. Two LG mm. players. This time, main roster, long-term roster. Mm. This is the most epic rivalry in Smash Ultimate, right? Oh, like, without question. If this you ask it. any like entry level viewer, who's your favorite players for one, they're gonna say Leo and Tweet. They're gonna say What's Leo. the best rivalry in the game? They're gonna say Leo and Tweet. Honestly, it's been the only rivalry really in the game. I don't think there's really been another one at that level. Definitely yep. the most high profile one. No, no contest. Yeah, I mean we've had a couple, you know, just in terms of stats, you know, the numbers guys like, you know, statistically these two players, but in terms of like, you know, what the crowd wants and honestly what they did it, the only evil we've ever had. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to deny the fact that this is probably the biggest rivalry we've had in the Ultimate, which really says a lot, friends. Uh, what I'm saying is that a little bit of trash talk goes a long way, okay? Let's write some new narratives. Melee has a million narratives. I would yeah, like yeah. a couple for Ultimate. Hey, the Zamba versus Leo talk was getting kind of spicy. That was fire. I love seeing stuff like that. Jordan versus Chag and Naitoru. Man, Jordan. By the way, if you're watching at home, how did you try to go to this tournament without a passport, bro? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Rewind, Mr. Ketchum. Somebody try to come over here without a passport? Bro, he was he won the damn compendium, and he didn't have a passport. To be fair, he was in the military. He thought the military idea was going to work. But still, you know, he, he did some research and said it was going to work. Showed up, didn't work. You know, Bam did that once. Remember, we went to, yeah, we went to yeah, Saints yeah, Gaming yeah, yeah. League, and we they flew us all into Detroit, and he couldn't get across the border to Windsor. And I'm just like... <laughs> Look at him! Wait a minute, hey, Leo! Hey, hey, hey! Your passport? Yeah, no. <laughs> I didn't know you were stepping out, Leo. My bad, big dog. But nah, man. <laughs> Shout out to Jordan. I I'm glad you uh, helped us at the very least raise some money for the event, get people hyped, you know. Would have loved to have you, but I, I really want to see that Jordan versus Natoru match. That's all I know. Would like to see it as well. In my Monique voice, I would like to see it. <laughs> Let's get it. Here we Tweet go. And Leo. Now, fortunately, Leo down to only one stock. I'm sorry, I'm chomping at this. Nah, you're so good, good, bro. Here we go, y'all. All right, this is it. The last stand for Team USA. It's going to be Tweak. And pretty much the only player in the world that I would believe in head to head against Leo into Spargo directly after with the same pool of stocks. It's I'd all up to, to him. I'd have to put it in Tweak's hands. Oh, okay. Try to go for the downward angle gun. Smart. Setting the tone early and just letting them know it ain't going to be a lot of, you know what I'm saying, long distance recovery right here. Not as long as I'm playing Joker. Oh, I love that drift from Tweak. Diddy very limited in that category, right? His air mobility is pretty low, but he was able to cross up Leo even after that air dodge. Got to stay alive at all costs here. Of course, the game plan is to conserve stocks. You want that full three going into Spargo. Yes, you do. Leo ain't going to make it easy, though, that's for sure. Manageability of your tools is most certainly going to be needed here. If you can at least get one right here on Leo's behalf to just make the tag hand that much easier. Drag down, up air, back throw. Just that low percent kung fu into high percent kung fu that just does not seem to leave on Joker's toolkit. Uh -uh. Nah, I ain't rolling in. You know better than that. But I catch your roll, though. Oh, hold on. The barrel's coming Leo's way. No, okay. Oh, Tweak still keeping them in play. 
Not going to be a factor. And there we go. One stock is gone from Tweak. This is huge. I think Team USA's chance of winning this crew battle just plummeted, but it's still possible. Okay. It's not impossible. This became that much more difficult, though. Okay. Leo trying to put this to bed. R sends in town right here. Let's see if he applies it thoroughly. Now, of course, having this much percent up on Tweak, I mean, I, I think it's in your best interest to maybe play the long range, maybe defensive Arsene game. I mean, that's a game that we don't really see played often with Joker. We see them when Arsene's in town, you know, people send to hold forward, but, you know, defensive, defensive oh, Joker no. ain't bad neither. That's all I'm saying. Oh, Tweak. Tweak in the player cam is legendary, man. Yeah. All right, well, Leo almost reversed three-stalking him, but Tweak has one chance left. Unfortunately, it's going to be a chance against Spargo, which means his odds are pretty terrible. Mm -hmm. But it's a chance nonetheless. It's still a chance, okay. Man, and I was going to say, if anyone's going to reverse three-stock Tweak, Leo's the guy for the job, right? Well, mm -hmm. any of these players remaining, of yes. course. Like you said before, they saved the best for last for this exact reason, just in case we need one of our strong anchors to really yep. hold forward and tear up some stocks. Yeah, you need that glue to keep the team together, right? Oh, and here he is, folks. FaZe Spargoat taking the stage. Getting ready to put his controller to good use for Team World. Of course, that $1,000 on the line. You know they want it. Mm -hmm. And hey, man, when you convert that to Canadian currency, for sure. Is it 1,000 uh, like USD? It's like 1,300 cat. <laughs> is it 1,000 USD? Uh, you know what? I'm actually not sure. Hmm. So uh, everybody uh, hold your expectations. It might be like 60 bucks USD at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm living like a king up here in Canada, man. I've been eating all weekend. Man, I ain't paid. I ain't, man, I feel good. Yeah, dude, I feel like a rich man here. But the problem is that I everything might just costs mess around. so damn much. That's true. That's true. That's true. I might just mess around and buy Twitter, bro. That's how rich I'm feeling, bro. Yo, if I could pay for Canadian Twitter. No, bro, come I on. I might make that play right now. That's right, bro. Tweeter. Probably a lot less toxic than American Twitter. Well, True. Damn, it's just so crazy to see these players grow up before our very eyes. I remember when these guys were kids, mm -hmm. man, and damn, now I'm the old yeah. man. How did this happen? Man, you know, we, we right. saw the era of, like, Tweak and Mars and Light growing <laughs> up and becoming adults. And now, you know, Tweak is, like, 25, dude. You know, in my in my brain, he's still, like, yeah. 18, 19 years old, right? It's but crazy. He's, he's definitely, like, a, a grown-ass man now. Now we're starting to see, like, the next class up, like, Spargo and Zamba start turning into young adults. I'm like, damn, bro. Like, the years are really flying by. Where does the time go, man? I tell you. But I tell you what, man, I've spent a lot of my best years in my 20s doing what I love. And, of course, that's kicking yep. it here in the Smash yep. community. Final game here of the crew battle, friends. Tweak, unfortunately, down to one stock. But as long as one man remains, there is still a chance. Ah! Oh, what the hell? One boy? more of those, and we're looking at an even game. Yo, yo, hmm. is it going to happen? Hmm. Is it going to happen, dude? If it happens, Start calling replace your rise. Captain America. Right. Who's Steve Rogers, bro? I, all I know is Gavin Dempsey. That's all, I said that's all I know. All I know is Gav Dempsey. The only Steve I know is the one in this game. Free. And I'm, I would like to not know him. Everything I know about him has been against my will. Oh, okay. dude. I, yeah, we're just like both waiting, holding our breath on this one. Wait a minute. Okay. Don't touch my shield. You know better. Okay. Playing this one. Say, whoa. Forder is not, Forder is not a real move, bro. Forder is like an assist trophy move. Forder and background cloud ain't right. Okay, there's the back air. Ah! Oh, wow! What a miracle! Not getting spiked by that. I was sure that's what was going to happen. Hold on. Sending oh. him down. Got the banana, oh. the reset. Okay. Hold on, I'm getting flashbacks. I've Let's seen this happen moves. before. I've seen this happen. Oh, he almost found it. Oh, 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 oh. The immediate up smash. Back here in the corner will be very scary, too. Man, I moved slow, but very safe on shield. Dude, that drift change, too, to skip past the ledge. Tweak definitely got a free hit off of that. Spargo wasn't ready. Oh! Oh, no. No, oh, Tweak wasn't ready for that up smash. Okay, it wasn't going to kill anyway, though. No, it almost certainly would not. I thought he was actually going to go for back, but that would have sufficed. No, I'm chilling, bro! Yo, Spargo's different. Oh, the side switch. Tweak's one of his favorite new tricks, for sure. Oh, he wanted to go for the ledge. Trump. Yeah. Definitely has a bag of tricks. My God! Oh! Hey! Ho! 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 Hold on! Oh. America's Wait hero! Minute. Wait a damn minute! Down throw, double dip. No, 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 no. We You're chilling, live. we chilling, we chilling. Oh my god, the crowd going wild. We're chilling. Oh, no. dash attack on the neutral get up. Smart man right there on Spargo's behalf. And Team World takes it into the USA versus World crew battle here. Again on my level 2023. Dude, and you can't help but think that if Leo 
didn't go so crazy with Arsene on that one stock. If Tweak had held on to two instead of just one coming into Spargo right there, mm -hmm. we would have been looking at a completely different story. But, of course, you only get one shot, right? You did drop that stock after all. So, unfortunately, it's going to be Team World with the two American commentators sadly accepting the reality. It, hey. But, hey, congrats to Team World. Honestly, y'all played amazing. Team USA, you held it down as well. There were so many good reversals of momentum, right? And never felt like one team was truly sure to take it until mm -hmm. the very end. That's right. I mean, this is just the type of matches that we certainly expected to see. I didn't want to see a Washington crew battle because after, you know, the stock count gets a little too out of control. I'm like, all right, y'all, start calling y'all rise. Hey. I'm, I'm out of here. It's time for dinner. Hey, hey, but wait. Don't go anywhere. You might think, hey, the crew battle's over. Why am I going to keep watching the stream? Well, well, of course. We got a great reason. That's right. We actually have a, a special video presentation. That's right. Yeah. I mean, it, it's just a gift that keeps on giving here, okay? What can't EMG do? We got a lot of, you know what I'm saying, tournaments that we run here, of course. Yo, I've been munching on these all weekend. This is absolute insanity. But the biggest treat, the biggest one, is about to come up right here in a moment. Take I'm a look. Hey, I know the crowd can hear us. Don't go anywhere yet. No, don't do it. Also, EE, -E, where you at, bro? Get back here. Get back here, EE. -E.